Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Shop. Today we're joined by Big Nate from City Driver Training. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming, mate. How did you get down? Did you? Uh... I drove. Oh, you drove. Not <laughs> one of the trucks, or? No, no. I've no. come in car today because yeah. uh, I've run out of my taco. I need to work on. No, I haven't. It's Friday today, isn't it? No, I'm working tomorrow and Saturday. So nice. I haven't worked yesterday because of my taco. And tomorrow all that. and Sunday. Saturday, tomorrow. No, yeah, t- tomorrow. You're working tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Look, if this is how it's going to be, <laughs> so, uh, and I want to, I'll point out as well. We've got, we've got Brett, technical manager. If you don't know Brett, he leads our technical support here, here at Eclipse. Um, so, uh, so yeah. But um, so, how how things been, mate? You've been busy. Flat art, kid. Yeah. Flat art. It's. I, I just think to myself, if you if you're not moving, you're stopped. Yeah. And I can't sit still for five minutes. So. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got the driver training to keep on top with, uh, the logistics, and I've just started a new company, which is City Towing. So I've just bought an nice. heavy wrecker, yeah. uh, which I'm getting into that. I've just bought a service van as well. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to go back onto the spanners, my son. Uh, so, oh, really? Are you? Mm, I am. I'm going to... I always think to my son, if I, as, as a... I'm not really a boss because nobody works for me. Everybody yeah. works with me. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big believer in that. And... I, I will never ask somebody to do something that I wouldn't do. Mm-hmm. So when you get these bosses out there that go, do this, do yeah. that. Oh, honestly, you yeah. can't stand that way. Yeah. Every ounce of my fibre. But if I turn around and say, well, I'll go out and do it. Mm. It just shows that you're yeah. n- not a chief, you're an Indian, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, and like I say, everybody works with us. They don't work for me because I'm not a ruler and dictator. I go, no. oh, honestly, and I'm not a very good employee. No. So we all know what it's like to have a bad boss, and I get sacked a lot. You're somewhere in the middle. <laughs> You're sorry. You're somewhere in the middle. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> right here, honestly. Right? So yeah, I, I, I do get sacked if I'm yeah. employed because yeah. I just and I just need to be saying like I always give hundred percent to everything yeah. I do to my ability. Like it might not be to somebody else's, but it's to mine. And if they want more, then I'm not the person they want. Mm. If you know what I mean, and then. So us, us as a company, we see what people's abilities are and work yeah. with that. Like you, you might not have the quickest driver, mm-hmm. but you've got the guy that ties it down correctly mm-hmm. and makes sure it's safe and does yeah. his paperwork, da 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 But then I'd rather have that than somebody that's absolutely tear ass in mm-hmm. round, but it, it, you're always constantly like, yeah. do you know what I mean? And then with driver training lads, it, it, driver training lads, it's quite... It's, that is a hard job. Mm. I'm sorry, but it is. It, 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 it doesn't sound like you're sat as a passenger, but you have got the patience of a saint. And honestly, like, if you haven't got it, you haven't got it. No. You will never do it. And now my boys go out there and just do it and literally sit for how many hours a day they work? Because, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, the uh, how they do it, I take my hat off to them. Mm. I really, really do take my hat off to them because you get some people that are just hard work. Yeah. But then you get some that are just dead right. And it's, it's very, really strange because you get them where they, you think to yourself, nailed on, this kid is going to pass. And then test day comes and it's mm. like, uh, and yeah. then they just absolutely yeah. mess it up. Yeah. But then you get the one that's been absolutely terrible all week and yeah. going absolutely smash it. Yeah. And I just think... Ah, ah. Probably thinking, can't get any worse. Yeah, honestly, like, oh man, we've had some like, we <clears throat> yeah. think, I don't even take him out in lorry. Yeah. And it, it, it's just, yeah. yeah. So was this City Drive Train, was that the first yeah. bit of this, uh, well, suppose it's a bit like the City Group now, you've got the City Drive Train, you've got Recovery. You got, yeah. So. Well, actually, no. <laughs> uh, so in COVID, uh, I were a taxi driver. Yeah. And a bouncer. Uh, Doorman, <laughs> sorry. Uh, like I say, when you look like this, I'm yeah. not going to be an underwear yeah. model, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I did that and obviously COVID come and uh, we got shut down and I was bored and I mean bored like and, and like a lot of people lost their jobs and stuff like that and it, it, were, it were the worst thing to ever happen to this country COVID but for me and my mate Martin it was probably the best thing that ever happened and I just rung him one day at a raid out at Blue and this is honest truth, this. And I just went, I'm on eBay, mate. There's a hearse and two limos for sale. And he went, right. I went, a lot of people are dying of this COVID. <laughs> we'll, we'll make a fortune here. <laughs> and he went, shut up. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, seriously, mate. Like, I'm really going to look into this. Anyway, you've got to be a funeral director for two years. Like, I legit looked into this to do it. Really? Right? 
And uh, I thought, so I could have been a funeral director, right? <laughs> believe it or not. Bouncer, taxi driver. <laughs> funeral director, <laughs> right? I know yeah. it's all a mix yeah. of shapes yeah. here. So anyway, we, we looked into it and we said, look, he's probably not, not the best path for us to go down. Uh, we'll buy a van and we'll, uh, I don't know if I should say this, but so I, I, years ago. Well, we'll, we'll review. We'll yeah, review. If you review this. <laughs> yeah. So I, I were knocking this bird off, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she says, oh, I've got loads of work for a van. Anyway, I messed her off and I was like, I had me and my mate had this van and I paid 1800 quid for this Luton van. Window didn't go down, wing had rusted through, but it had a tail lift. And I says, we'll never lose money on this van. Yeah. And I, and I always said to Martin, if I said, trust me, he has to trust me. And yeah. it's as simple as that. So I said, trust me. Anyway, we did one job with this van and power steering stopped working. <laughs> even, and then it, just, it rained inside, but I were a nightmare. And I was like, just trust me. Yeah. Sounds like the state of my van when, after I had it <laughs> <laughs> all those years ago. And uh, I says, come on, anyway, we, we did a waste job because uh, we had his waste carrier's license, all insurance, like that, legit. And uh, we did a waste job. And I says, we, we could earn some money here. So we went out and bought a tipper. Mm. And we had a little dream of we're going to make this work. So we bought a sprinter tipper and... Uh, <laughs> we, we we loaded this van. We we're doing waste and waste and waste, and we we're loading it and loading it. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, it's a bit heavy. This van. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. We should go and get this tipped. <laughs> anyway, went on to Weybridge, and because we, obviously we were new to it, and we yeah. were literally blase Learned about it all. Learned on job. Uh, we were two ton overweight. <laughs> Wow. Big time, right? So we were like, <laughs> might need a truck. Yeah. yeah, we need a bigger van. Yeah. So. No, we, we said that and they were like, look, we'll never do that again. We never did. No. Um, we, like, so we didn't know. We were no. just playing at it. Yeah. And uh, like, it was just a little dream we had. And we sold the Luton and we made 1,200 quid on it. Trust me. <laughs> and um, Salesman as well. Oh, man, honestly. <laughs> you sell sand to an Arab. And uh, we, we went and started doing waste. And we had a laugh all the way through it, all the way through COVID, Seven days a week, six in the morning while 10. Because remember in COVID, it was red hot, wasn't it? And yeah. everybody was doing their houses and gardens, but couldn't go to tip. Yeah. So we were just out <laughs> every day, just collecting waste, taking it to tip, collecting waste. And we like we got it all legit, limited company, everything. It, we, we had a rate screen. Yeah. And then COVID stopped. And uh, Martin were um, a car instructor. And I just says, no, no, sorry. He went to buy a, a trailer, box trailer. Uh, to teach car and mm. caravan because mm -hmm. everybody couldn't go abroad then so everybody was buying caravans yeah. hot, hot tubs kitchens and everything there, yeah. mate but like I said hot tubs kitchens conservatories were a big yeah. one uh, extension cars yeah and no uh Vans, yes, because everybody doing Amazon delivering yeah. and uh, caravans yeah but nobody had license for caravans so we were like well, why don't we teach that so Martin rung me up and says I'm going to go and buy this box trailer will you come with me and I went, why? He went, because I'm scared of getting beat up when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all he said. I went, yeah, go on, and I'll yeah. come with you. Was it like a scene at a snatch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time, right? So we went, anyway, I had a laugh with him, and we drove back from Sunderland, I think it was, Newcastle way. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we come back down, and I just went, December, no, I never remember dates, November 17th. He'll comment on this if I'm wrong, and I can guarantee it. November 17th, I text him and says, let's go and buy a truck. Mm. November the 21st, we bought a truck. We bought, we've literally plowed all his little money that we had into this um, wagon and drag. And um, we had a wagon and drag and a big dream. And like we were, I always have a saying, I'm not here to take part, I'm here to take over. Mm. In the industry, not world, like I'm not <laughs> Putin, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I goes, uh, I'm not here to take part, mate, we're here to take over. And I always remember driving school and they turn around to me and says, good luck. I've got four of their staff now mm. because of like, they were, I'm here to take over on bollocks. Mm. And, I'm like, mm, yeah, right. and we, we started with wagon and drag. We employed a guy called Craig who our first staff. We leave, sadly, in a couple of weeks because uh, he's moving to Sunderland. Oh, no, he's not. Newcastle, somewhere. I don't know. I can't remember. It's somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere up north, out of Scotland, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, we, um, we, did, we bought the wagon and drag. I remember interviewing Craig because it was lockdown. We couldn't do anything. 
uh, and we did. Uh, I interviewed him back of a Mercedes Vito minibus I had, and I burnt my mouth on a sausage roll. Right, that, and it's like on that way, like, and I really burnt it though, like to the point of I, I couldn't even talk. It with that, all my tongue and everything would just swelled up. And I'm like, try to interview him, like, mm-hmm, man, you know what I mean? like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. do you want to sign up for your now? <laughs> and uh, anyway, so he, he come on board, and then we we didn't have enough. We went to buy an office, a porter cabin. Because uh, we were using a uh, we were using a yard in uh, Rotherham, and we like obviously we had two parking spaces for trucks, and we didn't have an office. I'm like, right, we need to get an office. What do we do? And we're looking at porter cabins, and like porter cabins are like shockingly expensive, right? And obviously we didn't want to hire one for, like rent one for like four year mm-hmm. contracts. We didn't know if it was going to work. Yeah. So I says to Martin, I says, Let's get a static caravan. He's like, what? Scare static kind of on mate. We've got we've got eating in it, we've got water in it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And we 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 so I, I let Martin have the job of we I could get one for free, this yeah. static kind of on, but he didn't have the layout Martin mm. wanted. He wanted a living room here, we're gonna turn bedroom into it, an office, yeah. do you know what I mean? A toilet had to be there. So we he searched for a good 20 minutes <laughs> for this static kind of on. And it was perfect. Oh, perfect. And we got it and ripped every wall out so it was just an empty shell. Really? So we might as well have got the one for free, yeah. <laughs> but we paid two grand for what he wanted. <laughs> so that was like, that's how that business started. You paid you know two I mean? grand for the project of ripping everything yeah. apart, basically. And then, we, then the walls fell down and all that. It was just a mess. But it was home. Yeah. And we tirelessly, I remember me and Martin, we, we sat and, and it was freezing cold. We had no, we just got electric, but no eaters. Um, Cause we'd ripped them out. Clever. Um, <laughs> And it was freezing cold and it were about two o'clock in the morning, literally just doing his website and like looking at each other. And we were shattered. I was still driving taxis. He was driving, um, yeah. doing car lessons. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we were just sat and we were just like, "Is it, this is going to be worth it. This will one day be worth it. Mm. And I mean, we were doing hundred hours a week, working and driver training and working and driver training. And then I just says, I'm going to go on this TikTok. Um, no, nah, I'm not into that. Like, you can't see me dancing, can you really? And doing old tricks with skipping ropes and that. <laughs> um, and I just went, the only thing I've got on my side is a pure Yorkshire accent. And I kind of look like Eddie Hall a bit. <laughs> like, yeah, like a yeah, really yeah, wish yeah. version yeah. of Eddie Hall. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So have, you already, have you already had that then? Because one of our colleagues... Oh, mate, I get that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, like the worst stunt double for yeah. Eddie Hall you've ever seen. <laughs> and uh, I get it all the time. I'm, 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 I'm Eddie Hall, I'm, to be honest, I've always said this. If somebody went and looked like Rolf Harris, mate, I'd be like, whoa, Eddie Hall, I'd rather look like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll take that all day long. I like him. He's quite a good looking yeah, bloke because yeah. he looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> and I always think to myself, I wonder if somebody goes up to him and goes, yeah, you look like that nair from <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> And I'm like, honestly, I get yeah. it all the so, time. Apart from the other day when I went range, I went for a fan. Yeah. I don't know why I told you that bit. <laughs> and then this little old lass, I swear to God, she was about 90. Like Yoda, come flying up to me. She went, <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> honestly, she went, I don't know how she like levitated across. <laughs> and she went, excuse me, I, I love and usually when somebody says, like, I'm a quite a tall, big guy. And they usually say, like, can you get some off the shelf for yeah. me and shit like that. And she says, uh, do you know who you are? The spitting image And I'm thinking, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And she went, that rag and bone man. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh, nothing like rag, rag and bloody bone man. And she went, you are, I thought you were. Can you sing a song for me? I went, are you a <laughs> you are? Yeah, I'll just burst out of rag and bone man in the middle of the range while I've got me, me four blade fan in my hand. Brilliant. <laughs> and it's like, what are you talking about, love? Yeah, and, well, it hit granny though. Oh, that, well, that's my next point. And I'm like, I walked off and I'm thinking, shit, she knows who rag and bone man is. <laughs> and she wheel spins off her like, in the course of the XR. And I'm like, go on, love. Pops and bangs. And honestly, I'm like, Jesus. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, just like I said, we started doing the, the uh, TikTok bit. And, um, yeah, it, it, I did a few when I was still on taxi. And what it was, I had a customer when I was on taxi, he, he bolted mm. and uh, didn't pay, just run off. Are you fast? No, but I don't stop. Right. I'm like a freight train with no brakes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's kind of when momentum's going in, it's, it's not like you run down an hill 
and you get that panic in your mind where you think, yeah. shit, I can't, I can't stop here stop. and I'm going to fall. That's like me walking. Because <laughs> 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 once I start going, just don't slow down. Yeah. Well, you know how the physics of a truck works then. <laughs> this is it, yeah. So um, anyway, we, we, we got uh, uh, this guy run off and he run into this house and I was doing strongman at the time. We're training for that. So I was about 28 stone. And, and uh, I just, he shut this door. And I thought to myself, it's nine quid. And I'm like, and I just went after him. And there were the PCV doers. And I hit this door. And I mean, it hit the door and the door just come in. Yeah. And they were like, the frame left. And then I didn't realise what I'd done until I went on the floor. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> trying to get back up. And, uh, I stood there and I was like, no, I'll never, ever forget this till the DRD. And this is on my life. And, and I stood and there were two blokes and this young lass. And I got there in the face and I went, nine quid. And he literally shaking like a shitty dog, <laughs> give me a tenner. And I went out and gave him a pound back. I went and gave him a pound back and went, somebody needs to sell that door. <laughs> to me to taxi firm it was very funny I'll never forget it and because I got a phone call they went have you just gone through a door <laughs> I went oh yeah don't, don't worry about that yeah. right. and they were like well we've just told them why would you run away from him <laughs> and especially going to an house you'd yeah. run off forever wouldn't you yeah. you know yeah. what I mean and yeah that, that was, so that was my taxi career <laughs> and yeah. uh, it was to be fair though I enjoyed that I just yeah. enjoyed driving and wheels and tinkering you know what I mean and then uh, like I said, I did the TikToky, so I started with that, told that story, and that went like mental. Um, and then the uh, obviously, we, we, I did a thing where I, I bought a new thing, and then that took off. I bought and a I, thing. I bought yeah. a thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That, that's everything is. I bought a thing, and then that, like I said, but then I ended up buying stupid shit, <laughs> you know, like golf buggies and <laughs> you know, like things I've got no need for whatsoever, but. What a thing and sandwich maker. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm running out of ideas here yeah. now. Um, Good so, for brand partnerships, though. We were saying yeah, to we were saying to Jack about brand partnerships. Good for brand partnerships. If anybody wants to, if, like, to hit you up, I've bought a thing. What like a Breville sandwich maker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll Look at this toast. Well, you mentioned underwear. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Like if like. I don't even know. I'm like the most least fashionable person you could ever, ever wish to meet. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I, I call it like grab bagging. So do you know something that's a free t-shirt, yeah? You better believe I'll wear the death out of that t-shirt. <laughs> like I've got a British gas t-shirt at home. Yeah. Never wear for British gas. <laughs> Just a Saturday night. So I've got a Tesco one, uh, which is a bit too small. And I wear that, just chill it out. <laughs> and I'm like, and I've got, I've got a, a jumper as well. I've got a full outfit of Nicolas Cage's face. <laughs> wow. Because I only wear that though if we get a complaint at City and they come in and I said, can you just give me two minutes and I'll go and put it on. Yes. Because when you walk back in and you've got a full outfit of Nicolas Cage, I'm like, Ray, I'm going to take this very serious now. <laughs> what do you say? If anybody annoys you, you just say, see this outfit? That's because I was on the plane on Con Air. Don't mess with Con Air, right? Because nobody <laughs> takes bunny out of the box. Do you know what I mean? Because like, honestly, that, that, that Con Air is up there yeah. with running water in my life. <laughs> honestly, like, I mean, I love our last, but yeah. Con Air, <laughs> you better believe she murmurs in that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking. I don't do no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> she would eat me yeah, <laughs> if yeah, I did that. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, did TikTok. I keep going off track here with Conair. Yes, um, yeah, so I did a TikTok thing and then people just lapped onto it and they, they, we get people from all our country now and I mean all over the country coming um, stay in hotels and uh, I, I kind of lost touch with driver training a bit. It's quite sad because I did the logistics bit. So when I, when I started logistics, it, what, what made me realise it was, I, I've got three office lasses mm. who I love tremendously. And I mean, I will rip the death out of all three of them because yeah. I'm that type of gaffer. Uh, but they, 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 without them, it wouldn't, the show wouldn't run. Yeah. And I, they do stuff that I physically can't do. Yeah. Write an email work the printer <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I have no idea so and I've got to I've got to get them because like I said we are we are, we are them yeah. we are everybody that works at City from driver training from admin from losses who answer the phone from accounts everybody that has a their part of City we are them I wouldn't be here sat here now mm -hmm. I'd still be a taxi driver so I owe it to them yeah. for everything I've got so, but it's up to me to get the work in. So when I'm going out and I'm doing 
the TikTok you thing. I'm sat here doing this. It, it, it's everybody's happy. They're still in a the job. I can live the lifestyle I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, Martin can as well, and uh, they they just go home happy. Mm. Um, I mean, they finish at Fridays at dinner. Do you know what I mean? They have a long weekend. Every single one of them. Well, yeah. some at office has to stay till a bit later. Is that something that you put in to sort of I didn't. staff them? I didn't even know that were a thing. Oh, they just did it. <laughs> they just, just did it. And I went, whatever, whatever. Oh, go on. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they come in an hour yeah. earlier each yeah. day and then they go home at Friday dinner. Yeah. If they want to do that, by all means, crack on. What are you then? You man in the phones whilst you're doing anything oh, else? No, the, mate. I am no. terrible at phone. <laughs> the only reason why I'm terrible at phone is because I just did them with honesty. Yeah. And <laughs> so... I always say, like, when you, like, they'll ring up and they'll go, I- I'm just ringing for a quote. And, and I, all right, and then you tell them all through it all. And they go, right, I'm going to ring round. And I'll say, well, don't ring back. Yeah. And they go, what? Mm. <laughs> so I'm not being sloppy seconds. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> and I always believe that like, I'm very, very arrogant with City. Arrogant. It is yeah. the best company in the yeah. world. The best. Yeah. Mine's chop trumps anything. Because if I don't believe that. You've got to believe in what you sell. Then you're already losing. Then I'm already, somebody else is better than me. Yeah. So yeah. I'm number two then. Yeah. And why would I be the first loser? Yeah. Like there's, there's, there's bigger driving schools out there and there's probably better driving schools yeah. out there, but I'm better than them. Yeah. In my head. Yeah. And that's how you've got to be with everything. With logistics, I'm saying, we, I, I, I will provide the best because if I don't, then I'm the worst. Because mm. there's only one or two in there. There's not, yeah. there's not three and four and all this carry on. Um. So yeah, like I said, we, we did tiktok thing thinking. Uh, said that about eight times now, <laughs> yeah. um, just so you know Nate did TikTok I do TikTok told Nate for City uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah like I said people latched onto it come all over they come and it, it, it's amazing what it does so like you, you walk down me, me and my missus went to the shop the other day and we were like hey, you're Nate aren't you I'm like no but I look right like him you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. like, you know that guy that has trucks no he doesn't wear Tesco shirts, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a disguise, this. You know what I mean? I'm like, do you know when Superman puts his yeah. glasses on? It's my Tesco T-shirt. Man. <laughs> like, where's Nave gone? <laughs> no, it was sat here a minute ago, and I put that yeah. on, I'm gone. <laughs> so, the uh, it, it's like that. And, and, and it, it, it's, I'm a very, very out there loud person. Mm. So stupid. And it's, yeah, just... Just pl- just smash each day in life. That's all I do. Yeah. And if... if like, with, like, so anyway, logistics... It was like I've been in nursing home. It got to a point where I was doing nothing. Mm. And I, I was 20, oh, 29, 30, when I'm 31 now. Am I 31 now? 92. You said you were 31. 31, yeah. I'll have to look, I'll have to check that. <laughs> and uh, it was like I've been in nursing home. So I had my own little office. And I remember sitting there and I was watching um, daytime telly, you know, this morning, all that lot. And uh, I'm watching that. And I'm thinking to me, saying, what the hell am I doing here? Mm. I didn't see anybody until dinner time when lads come in for the dinner and I had a sandwich with them and then they went back out and I didn't see them until they come home then and then they went home mm. and I did nothing all day and said to Martin I says I'm buying a truck you know and we've got loads outside I went I'm buying another lorry and we've got to start somewhere else because with me I'm like riddled with ADHD I'm sure I am and I've just got to be on go yeah and I says to him I says look I've got to buy a truck here and I've got to start logistics. So we started logistics. That's been going a year. Or oh, coming up to a year. And now I've just took two drivers on. So I've took two drivers on and I started towing. And I'm I'm pretty guaranteed now, as I speak, towing a last year and I'll do something else. And I'll just keep doing something and doing something. But why have one business when you can have three mm-hmm. or you can have five? And then you've got lift. I can then jump on driver training and I can jump on logistics or go out towing or... Whatever comes next, oh, I'll, 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 it'll be like Nath and Air soon. <laughs> yeah. But you won't want to fly on it. <laughs> you know, anyway, so like, yeah. Nah, then. <laughs> you only take off from Leeds and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or Donny, if yeah. that's still about. <laughs> uh, but that, it's, it's just, and then I said to anybody that's inspired, so like I did, I've done spanners. Um, I did spanners for a lot of years. Um, I've done recovery. I've done tills on Matalan. You know, I've yeah. done, honestly, I will have a go at anything. Yeah. And I've just seen to me saying, like, with with younger generation that's growing up, don't just settle for one thing. Try and aspire to do three or four. And if you fail at it, and I've got two little brothers who are in their late teens, and they're sort of figuring out what they want to do in life. And they're so, and I always say this, kids now are so beaten into, you've got to go to uni, you've got to go to uni, you've got to go to uni. (laughs) One of my brothers went to uni, absolutely hated it. Mm. Absolutely hated it. And the other one sort of seen that and thought, well, I don't want to do that. And they're trying to find what they want to do now. And I say, you know what? You might fail 
at a few different things, but that's normal. Try it, see if you like it. If you don't, move on to the next thing. It's it's an experience. There's always 10 urinals in a toilet, innit? And you can piss in each one of them. Yeah. So why just settle for one each yeah. time? And I've always said that, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's like the best metaphor ever, yeah, anyway, by the way. I've not heard that one. That one. <laughs> but it's right, though, isn't it? They all collect piss, but yeah. there's different options you've got. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, I say, wait, wait, I've got a little sister and a big brother. Um, and to be honest, I don't even know what they do. <laughs> they do something. I know yeah. they, they do something, but... And uh, they, they, I've told, I always told them, I've told my little sister, just, just try anything. Yeah. Mm. Because it doesn't matter what job it is, there's a purpose for that job. And it's like... With, with lorry driving, I tell I tell young kids now, why not be a lorry driver? Because I'll be a lorry fitter. Get into the haulage industry. Sex, death, food and waste. That's the only four things that will never, ever stop. Mm. We all love a shag. <laughs> we all love food. We all shit and piss. And we all die. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. that's the four categories in my life that you've got to at least master one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a very good shag. I shit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I can eat. So everything, but all them are on back of a truck. Yeah. So that kind of then, everything snowballs from them four categories in life. Mm. And if you can master something in that, do you know what I mean? It, yeah. It, it, you've always got a career for life. And a lot, a lot of, but the thing is, though, with kids now that are really gripes on me, it's all like the tiktok thing. It's mm. all about that. It's a yeah. popularity thing now. Yeah. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. Mm. And like you see kids that are like, oh, they're depressed because... They, I can always remember my little sister turning around to me and saying, I've deleted the photo because only 100 people liked it. Yeah. And I think she'd be saying, bloody hell. Do you know what I mean? I, it's this constant, they're looking for approval. They're looking they for, are. you know, if, if they're doing something to uh, um, get approval from others. Yeah. And it's a strange... And I even had, you know, young lads and lasses say to me like, oh, you know, I want to get into trading. And it's because they've seen some terrible ads, some scam or whatever yeah. it is, like, you know, pay this a month and become a member of with us and I'll teach you how to make thousands sat on your phone. And if you're a teenager hearing that, you're thinking, well, I'm on my phone all the time. Oh, I'd love to sit at home on my phone earning thousands. It's not how life works. No. But that's the thing, though. <laughs> but do you see, again, I don't know if you'll probably put this on, but I think parents should give him a crack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I think it's right. I've got a son, man. I mean, my son's 11 year old. I would, honest to God, I mean, I, I would strip in fire for that kid. You know, yeah. it, nothing will ever, I protect that kid with my mm. life. And he's my best mate. We do everything together. But do you know if he started being like that? Mm. Click around Get a grip. Yeah. That's what I got. And I'm mm. sure that's what you all got. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. look what we are now. Mm. We, we, all you learn from a good crack is respect yeah. and discipline. Yeah. And there's none of that anymore. Yeah. You rate gripes on me. <laughs> Honestly, it <laughs> does. Yeah. Matilda, at any rate, that mistrunchable. Use the rod and beat the child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I've great, stuck with me in that. <laughs> great film, great film. The original. Brilliant film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I've, I've heard the uh, the musical one isn't the best. Oh, uh, God, I'm going to so oh, I'm gonna no, skip that good. one. Oh, it's good. Oh, I like that. Yeah? But I'm quite, yeah, I'm a bit. Ah, you do look like a frozen type of guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> are like you a frozen yeah. dad? Are you? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, all, I'm all about that. I watched that. What's that one with house with balloons? Up. 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 Have you watched that? Yeah. Oh, my word. First 20 minutes, roaring like you've never known <laughs> yeah. anything in your life. You'd like Wreck-It Ralph. You've seen Wreck-It Ralph? A kid once called me that and I bought him a Mars bar. You are Wreck-It Ralph. Not that not, not, just yeah. going to give Mars yeah. bars to children. Yeah. 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 Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've always got a pocket full. Yeah. 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 I think Wreck-It Ralph is like, the, it's a part of the story is it's this big guy who... You know, can be a bit destructive, but it's try is trying everything to try and find his his, his yeah, purpose in a way. Hundred so, percent. Yeah, not saying you wreck everything, but oh, no, o- no, other no. than hundred percent French doors. No, not French what doors. French what was it? Was it? Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, just a normal front door. Yeah. Oh, no oh. one's please use batons on. <laughs> yeah, 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 me. You don't need that. <laughs> just yeah. iron it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just go through that. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> just send it. Full sending. Yeah. Just yeah. just full steam at everything. Yeah. <laughs> don't look back. Yeah. Don't ever like it, it's like we're on about this other week, me and Marty, we're on about city and life and stuff like that. One of the times where we actually sit and have a drink and stuff. And he was saying, what would happen if it all just stopped? And I went, I'd go and buy a taxi. And my life had just not changed whatsoever. I don't yeah. live a flash lifestyle, do you know what I mean? I've tried that and I hated it. And I'm not, I, I am who I am. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, I've, I've, I've had nice cars, I've had Mustangs, Range Rovers, and I've just bought an Iveco daily. Yeah. Literally yesterday. I even looked at it on auction. I was uh, talking to a kid yesterday while he was in office, and I just paid and bought it. 
Yeah. I don't even know what it's like. Are you, is that the service van then? Yes. So that'll be the service van. Big Iveco <laughs> Wep. <laughs> Can't wait for that. It was funny because I heard about it. We, uh, we rate Sean. If you've not seen him, me and Sean do the, the, the trucking diaries. I've seen Sean, yeah. Have you? We always, always have this argument because Sean's a lorry driver mm. and I've got a shout out to their company because they always let me park in their yard if I'm ever up there and use the showers and stuff like that. And we're always talking and he drives this big V8 Scanny. Is it 650? Six, six, well, I don't know what it is. I'm not really a Scanny man. Um, and I heard about Iveco's and stuff like that. And you know, it's like, Iveco. <laughs> loser and all this shit yeah and I said to him we always have this argument but I've got the log book for that you aren't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the steering wheel bitch for somebody yeah. else yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean and I've always said this to anybody don't go on what people are doing yeah. go on what you can afford and do yeah. Yeah. so if you can only afford the shittiest truck in the world but it's your truck sure, sure. you have got my my back a hundred percent instead of the guys Jack Spanners yeah. right love the guy Love him. And he rocks around in that old van. Mm. Right? And I take piss out of him for rocking around in that old van. But I'm so proud of it because it's his van. Yeah. There's no none of these like the, like the big boys that are going out and getting all these brand new sprinters and stuff like that. Man's rocking around in that what, old six, seven plate van or whatever. Ten is it? 54, like I think. I don't know, actually. No, it's not that old. No, it's because he regenerated, didn't he? That, the trying to. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what? Anyway, it's, it's, the, it's on my, the jail test. That's it. Big job test. That's it, that's it. <laughs> um, and, and I'll just say, I'm so proud of him for doing that. And I'll tell him all the time that I'm so, so proud of it. Like the wrecker I've just bought. Wreckers are what, half a million quid? Mm. I'm not good at buying that. I, I, I bought an 07 plate DAF XF. Yeah. Wrecker. And I, I love that more than I will anything else because I own it. Do you mm. know what I mean? And it, I'd rather be that person than be the person that works with somebody else, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, like I said, just don't go on what everybody else is doing. Go on what you can do. Yeah. Mm. And you'll always make it work. It'll yeah. always work. How did you, so you've <clears throat> seen we had Jack on. How did, how did you know, or how did you meet Jack? How did I meet Jack? I think it was just through TikTok. He, he, he liked my video. I liked his. And then it was just got, we just got chatting. Yeah. And I swear to God, he is one of the straightest guys you've ever met. Mm. The straight, I, I, and I've got, to, I work hard. And I must admit, I do. But that man uh, trumps Machine, me. Machine, yes. He does Monster. not stop. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how he finds twenty five hours in a day, but he does. Yeah. And like the the, the, the only the good thing about what what he does is he takes absolute care and pride in everything that that man does. You know, you're getting it mm. with love. Yeah. Not you're not just a customer. You are you you're part of the Jack Spanners world. If you know yeah. what I mean. And obviously you got with Jodie's missus and I love her. She, I mean, she yeah. texted me at five o'clock this morning and said, good luck today, your uh, podcast uh, and all this out yeah. of there. And that, that, that's another thing we like with lorry driving and stuff like that. The, the people you can meet, like say you, you've got Sandy, me up in Scotland, me and him went to Canada together. Yeah. That was the third time me and him ever met. We met at two truck shows and we flew to Canada. The third time we met each other. But we talked near enough every week. Yeah. Um, there's a bird called Calamity Kim. Uh, and I, I've been on phone to her down way down here. She's run me to say good luck. She does all every haulage. Yeah. And what a machine she is. There is nothing that that girl can't put her hand to it, like Jack and just do it. Yeah. Doesn't whinge, doesn't moan, just does it. The last called Jamie, uh, she, the lorry driver, she's on fridges, I think. She comes with me when I go and buy these extravagant stuff. Uh, she, oh she, yeah, I've seen you. Yeah, I've seen yeah. yeah, yeah. She, um, I bought the double decker bus. She were a bus driver. She went, I'm coming with you. So we flew, drove down to Cambridge, picked it up, come back, uh, bought Wrecker from literally south of Wales, drove down, didn't get back till two o'clock in the morning. And it's Wal she, was it Roll Waldron's? Uh, yeah, yeah, Waldron's yeah, yeah, old yeah, truck, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah which, by the way, the nicest garage ever. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. are so friendly there. Usually when you buy stuff, I'm always a bit sceptical of like, mm. yeah. Mm. And we had a bit of an issue when I got it. And he literally just stayed behind and just helped me fix it. it oh, it was just a locking pin that won't come in. Uh, but what, what a nice, yeah. what a nice bunch of people. That's there all are. you want. Yeah. It is because you know you're buying something that's great. Right then do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I said, Trucker Sean, he, he, he's he's another one. And I say, what you want to do is when you get you, you get your network of people, people that you surround yourself with good people, and they'll always bounce off each other. Yeah. If I've got a problem with, with I'm more, oh god, my legs are stiff as old. When, when I were on Spanners, I were more um, trailers. 
units are too technical for my head to work how they work. You know what I mean? I could, I mean, I'm not daft. I could turn my hand to it, but I'm not Jack Spanner's good. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I ring him. Yeah. Do this, bloody da da da. Oh, again, I'm never afraid to ask for help because if you don't know, you don't know. No, There's no embarrassing yeah. about it. I mean, I don't have to brain surgeon, but brain surgeon, I don't have to do a brain. I don't know how to be a brain surgeon. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Uh, you see, could never do that job, yeah, could no. I? <laughs> uh, but the, uh, you ask, you always ask for help. And like I say, surround yourself with good, yeah. good people. Yeah. And surround yourself with different people. Yeah. And your life will just be so much easier. There's a, there's a saying, isn't there? There's a, if you want to grow, sit at a bigger table mm. and it's sit with a good group of people. Always and, be yeah. that little fish yeah. in a big pond. Yeah. Always. Don't ever be a big fish because nobody likes that. No. Always be the little fish. Yeah. And then you'll always surround yourself with a little more fish and then you yeah. just... Get metaphors for day. I should write a book, shouldn't I? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all marks creaming for shit like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> but on, the, uh, on Jack's story, I mean, we were sort of taken aback by what he's sort of been through and his challenges. And yeah, it's a, it is a story. And the fact that he, I love the, the sort of the mindset change. I thought that was a brilliant part of the podcast that we did where he's got to the end of an eight hour shift. It's the end of the week. He's got his wages and he's paid all his bills and he's, you know, bought everything he needed to do. And then he's got 16 pounds for the month or week or whatever it was. And it's like, well, I can't live on 16 pounds. So what do I do? Oh, I've got another eight hours. Mm. Jumps back in the van and goes goes to work again. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred so. percent. The the man is a credit. <laughs> yeah, he really is. You don't you don't get many like that about. And I and I I, 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 I genuinely love the kid. Mm. I genuinely genuinely. He, uh, my missus threw me a surprise party in um, Edinburgh, and uh, I didn't know about it. Obviously, surprise. And like I said there were Trucker Sean and his missus and Jack and Jordy. Now Jack and Jordy live like London way, and they yeah. flew to Edinburgh just to have a night out. And I think to myself, you know when you've got people like that, who will literally just with go- With the hours that they do as well. With the hours that they do and work so hard, but then still got time to, for their friends. Mm, well, they're yeah. not even friends, mate, the family to me. It's yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. But they, they could ring me now and just say, hey, if I'm in trouble, mm. and I will literally be on that M1 straight down. Yeah. yeah. Without even thinking twice. Yeah. And that, that's the that's the people <laughs> you need to get your set. And I've got a lot of people that are like that that would do it for me. Like they, I know they would. I bought Wrecker, mm. which, by the way, when he did this podcast and he was like, oh, Nathan's bought a truck. I shouldn't have said this, <laughs> but it's a truck that can tow other trucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm sat there, I'm late, watching it, late. and I'm thinking, what are you talking about? You might as well just <laughs> yeah. say, uh, uh, and he wants me to go and put beacons all over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder what that is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Loser, we can, man. We can, <laughs> we can maybe let him off a little bit. I think he had like two hours sleep that day. And there's and, no yeah. excuse for that, shit. I'm <laughs> sorry, but they're in. Oh, they back out of the bag. Yeah. It, 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 if you watch it, it's the moment when he realises like, Shit, Nave's gonna punch me for this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he yeah. stops and goes, oh, he's told me not to say oh. Whoops. Well, let's just say he's bought a truck that can put to, that can tow the trucks. <laughs> My God, I was literally just watching it thinking, yeah. well, that's a secret out of bag, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going, I wonder what he's bought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Said no one. Yeah. Can't wait to see. <laughs> <laughs> so do you turn your seven years as a fifth then? Do you turn your hand to fixing your trucks when they go wrong? I do. Not the new ones. Okay. So we we run DAF XFs. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we bought the DAF XFs. I love DAF. D- yeah. DAF a good truck. I'm shout out DAF. Shout out DAF. Big time. I love DAF. Um, then I bought the Volvo. The only reason I bought Volvo is the driving position for the driving position for the bigger man mm-hmm. is a Volvo through and through because you can pull steering wheel further down yeah. and seat goes a lot lower, but the bed's smaller. So I can't fit in a Volvo bed. I, it, it's daft. I have to put seat down and make my own little bed. It's, oh, it's stupid. Um, and we Sheffield's got into Euro 6. Mm-hmm. And we try for the exemption form because obviously we're Euro 5s. Yeah. There's no point in a driver training company going out and buying new trucks because they just get battered. Mm, yeah. Obviously, people don't know how to drive them. So yeah. you're always scared of like smashing them to bits. And it does happen. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that it doesn't. It does. Um, so obviously, we went for exemption. They said, no. Now, one of the test routes is in the Euro 6 zone, and it's 50 quid a day, every truck, which is when, you, when you've got, how many trucks did we have at time? 12. That's a lot of money, mm. and y- y- you can't risk that gamble all the time because there'd be no money in the job. Yeah. It costs us more to do that, to train people, than we'd actually earn. So yeah. what's the point? So I says, come on, we need to go out and get some new trucks, and we bought Actrosses, the little 4B2s, 
ex Tesco. That's why I got shirt. And uh, <laughs> and I ate them. The only reason I ate them because the Daff XF they were they were ours. They were the yeah. babies. You know yeah. what I mean? We yeah. they were beautiful trucks. We put lights all over them, alloys. But these are just ex Tesco. And I look at them every time. I just think, what? Where's excitement in that? Yeah. So when we put a driver in for logistics, literally two weeks ago, I'm sat in office because we had a bit of a delay on Wrecker. Um, we sorting out insurance. And I sat in office. I'm there just like this. Nope, doing no. Nope. Right, I'm bored. And we got one sat in the yard. And they've got big wing kits on them. And I went and got a forklift and just put forks up and drove it straight into the side at Wrecker. Yeah. Uh, into the side at unit, sorry. And ripped all wing kit off it. Literally, mate, oh, everything just ripped it all off. There's fiberglass all off. I went, that looks better. Yeah. <laughs> so now my plan is I'm going to buy like Dutch headboards for it, lights. I'm going to turn them all into a show truck. You really can't leave stuff alone, can nope. you? <laughs> Tell you, mate, riddled with something. Yeah. I just don't know yeah. what. Like, I, like the spectrum, mate, yeah. is flat yeah. out over yeah. here. Yeah. I just yeah. can't. Get, I just. Can't sit still. Oh, you know, something annoys me though. Sort it. Yeah. And they're like, Martin coming, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think it's gone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Like, he just, he Walks just, back out. And yeah, just checks his ear and then the old lasses are like, right. we need to get near for lorry. <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, yeah. that's what they said. Do Give I, this baby something to do. I need like, do like a sensory room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what yeah. I need in my own office. Yeah. Just to see that we like wheels. And that all yeah. all. That's kind of what I need. Um, and honestly, I just ripped it all out. I've made a right mess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's like half it's still on. and it's Because uh, I, I didn't realise they're all like, I thought it was just like a, a silicon bonded because I took all bolts on it. I did it right. I don't want to rip, rip completely off. But they're not like really hard pressed down. So when I went and it started ripping, I thought, someone's not right here. <laughs> and then it all just went bang. I lifted all the truck up. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I just sat there like, you know, anything you shouldn't have done. But now I've done it. I'm committed. So I'm going to do it to them all. Yeah. <laughs> just when they're off at road. Because <laughs> obviously, don't want that. <laughs> don't want that publicity going down road. So I'm going to try one. Uh, turn it into a like a little show truck. And it gives, it gives the students some, it's like, I want to drive this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of being the next Tesco bullshit lorry, like, ooh. Uh, get them excited. Yeah, that's all it is. And you, you've got to be, you've got to, people are like magpies. They see something shiny, they'll be like, ooh. Yeah. You know what I mean? They see something dull, like, ooh. Yeah. You don't notice like your little, you don't look at the little trucks going that road with just like your yeah, tes- Tesco yeah, yeah. spec and there's no ton of, you don't notice them, but you see a big shiny one with all lights, you're like, ooh, bloody hell. Yeah. What's that? That's it, and then you can tell who they work for and mm. stuff like that. So that, that in my head, it'll work. Yeah, probably won't. Probably cost a fortune, and it'll not work. But I'm gonna have a go at it. Yeah. Got to have a go. Yeah. So on the <sighs> uh, the the driver training, then are you are you an instructor in with them? Are you or have you got instructors? Got instructors. Uh, I've got a good set of instructors yeah. to be honest. Really, Lots of really patience. good. Because you don't. St- I'll be honest. Like, meeting you for the first time today, you seem like the type of. Like, <laughs> I once made a bloke cry. Yeah. <laughs> this is no way to lie. And I swear to God, and I hope you watch this because, and I, 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 this is why I don't really go out. My instructors, they will, two hands on wheel. This is why we do it. Blah, da, 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 10 to yeah. 2. Yeah. We feed it through. I'm more, uh, if I see that hand come off that steering wheel, put your hands on wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put your hands on wheel, otherwise I'm going to snap every finger in the hand. <laughs> That's honest to God. That's how I teach it. <laughs> And then uh, we had a kid, I'll never ever forget this, Harley. I'll, uh, he was, yeah. honest to God, when we first set up, he did B plus E. And uh, I'll never ever forget this. So B plus E is car and trailer. And then we had Ford Ranger and he had to do it in a manual. And he kept taking his hand off at steering wheel. And uh, right, right, right nice kid, ended up sponsoring his race team. And uh, he kept putting his hand on gear stick and driving like that. Anyway, I just held his hand. <laughs> <laughs> While he held his hand on the steering wheel, I just kept him like that. Holding it. And he went, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I went, why? He went, I'm only 17. That's my response in his race team. Like, I don't want to go to prison. That is I felt such a snob. Yeah. And then, but that's how you've got to teach him. I understand what you were trying to do. I, I, yeah. I, I, I was it, yeah. so funny yeah. when he did it though, man. Yeah. I was yeah. creased all yeah. laughing. Uh, and he'd, he'd come back and did yeah. his class one with us. Yeah. He'd, he'd do class two, class one. He did everything with us. He's, well, uh, this is the thing though, right? And I worry about this with other driving schools. 
up till I until I went up logistics, mm. I could tell you everybody who everybody was, where they were from, and what the how many times it took to pass. Yeah, P- Pete Daw, for instance, we had a kid called Pete Daw. He, I think he was like nine times until he passed. Come from London every time mm. just to train with us. And when he passed, I gave him his money back for his last test because oh, wow. I was so yeah. proud of him. Yeah, um, but like I say, um, we know. Uh, Pradeep Chana, uh, he, he were another one, sound kid, come up from, I think, Birmingham, I think, did his training, went home, happy days. And I, I can literally name them all. We yeah. kept in touch with them all. And yeah. it, I say, you're not just, it's not just a driver training company. It's you it, it literally become a little part of family. And we yeah. just always, mm-hmm. the phone's always on to them. And I get the messages all the time, look where I'm working now. Yeah. Uh, I- Emily messaged me this morning. How's it going? And this out of there, past two years ago. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. We're all yeah. friends. You know what I mean? It's not like we. You got companies, don't you? You're just a number. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Conveyor belt of people coming through and coming through, and that's it. No, not with us. Yeah. Like they'll they'll nip in now and just have a brew. Yeah. You know what I mean? The I th- past three years ago. Yeah. I think we drive a train as well. You've got to create an experience where they go away and say to their mates or somebody else who's looking to get into the industry or somebody who asks, "Who should I go to for, for for training? The, 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 go here. They make you feel." You know, even if you you go there and you have no idea, you want to feel comfortable, yeah, um, and trust as well. They want to be able to trust you. So I've always said, <laughs> even if somebody fails a test at our place, if they fail and they're still happy, we're doing something right, yeah, yeah, because that's a hard thing to crack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if somebody fails a test, it's gutting. Yeah. I, I've only ever failed one test, and that was my car driving test. And back then, you could eat rock paper one, and I screwed it and threw it at him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was fuming that I failed my driving test. Do you remember what on? Yeah, I can. And it really annoys me to this day. So he told me to stop, but it were no stop zone. And I was like, oh, it's part of the test, this. No. <laughs> I just kept going, right? No way. And he failed me for it. Oh, no, sorry. No, he didn't. Sorry. He told me to stop. And I kept going, thinking it part of the test. He's like, no, can you please stop? So I went, all right. So I pulled in, stopped. And he went, right, we're in a no stop zone. Can you set off as quick as you can? So I just set off. I didn't do my all round checks. And he failed me for it. Mm. So I went from nothing to about 170 mile an hour in my head. <laughs> yeah. Screw paper, get out of fucking car, I'll kill yeah. you if I ever see you again. And then went for my retest about five days later. And he come out with paper, went back in and this little old lass come out and took me <laughs> instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she passed me. So and I said, I've done every license. The only one I haven't done is my tank, which I'm going to do next year, I think, or this year, if I can be yeah. bothered. So, you're gonna, so you will be Eddie Hall. Don't, right? This is really scary. So, the only about the Eddie Hall thing, I bought a high... So I follow him on everything, so yeah. I think the man's amazing. Yeah. Um, and I followed him... Um, the day he bought an Hayabusa, I bought a Hayabusa, and I didn't know. We yeah. bought one on the same day. We were both doormen, both truck fitters. Yeah. Um, we both did strongman. He did swimming, I didn't. And the day he bought his tank is the day I booked a tank licence, and I didn't know. Really? No way. Swear to God, the day he bought a tank, I booked to do my tank license. But I ended up cancelling it because I had to restart logistics. Yeah. How crazy is that though? One right. life. Make this into a short reel. Eddie, if you're watching, <laughs> get in touch with Nate, he'll teach you. Because it'll, it'll be a matter of time before Eddie oh. drives around this massive truck. He's going to get one of them 720 Scanyas and that'll cra- be his. Mate, honestly, it's crazy. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I want to do something before he does it. And I can yeah. say, at least I'm not copying you. <laughs> yeah, man, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It my truffy. I'm like, honestly, I'm just a ginger wish version of yeah, Eddie Allman. Yeah. That's all I am. What you need to do, you need to, you need to get in touch with him and see if he'll go to that diner. Was it? What's the, what's oh, the, Karen's. Karen's diner. Have you ever been? Yeah. No. Oh, mate. Have, Have you, you ever been? Oh, no, I've seen, I've seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one in Sheffield. Yes. So oh, me and Martin perfect went. Perfect place for it. <laughs> oh, mate. They couldn't take me. <laughs> so we booked it for free because one of the other lads were going to come. And he, 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 I think he got a new bird or something. Like stiff. And uh, I know, I know, I <laughs> um, So when we went in, um, Martin's a big guy. No, no, I mean, he's no. not all big, all beast. He's just a big guy. Big guy. Um, big uh, Yeah, cuddly. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got an earlier, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, honestly, he's like my brother, so I can say yeah. this. Uh, he'll just be laughing now. And we went in and they just started ripping him. Like, as soon as we walked through the door, and even I'm like, oh my God. Right. It's a bit much. Yeah. And uh, we went in and they says, oh, is it for free? And I went, no. And I just went, sadly, he's, he's passed away, but we're still coming out for like, to remember him just because he wanted to be his idea. And they were like, huh? 
And I'm like, no. And he hadn't, he hadn't died. It was just funny to say it, wasn't it? And they didn't know what to say. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking hell, get a grip. I'm only joking. It's not his birth. <laughs> and then they were honest. Everything they were saying, I was just giving them back. Oh, really? I could work there tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd be the perfect job for me, that. Because people do me nothing. <laughs> 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 they do, honestly. Yeah. I love people. Every, yeah. every walk of life, everybody's got a different story. But my God, you know, some people, you just think, get a grip. <laughs> get a yep. grip. Mm. That's why I could work there. Yeah. I'd be rate good. I'd, I'd be an employee at month. Yeah. Well, I've been an employee at month at City for uh, <laughs> yeah. primary month, yeah. 36 months now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like my plaque on wall. Yeah. I just changed dates on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but because I've never been an employee at yeah. month ever no. <laughs> until the first month we had started City yeah. and I bought me sort of hat and lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, ribbon. Uh, well, it's got a party whistle thing. Oh, yeah. uh, celebrating that our employee at month. Where, who's the, well, maybe you don't want to name them, but. Have you got a story of the most improved or somebody you got in on the first day and thought, well, this is going to be a tough one. And somebody who surprised God. you. There is one, but I don't really want to say his name. No. And he was shite. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> like, he, I, he had three instructors. Yeah. And then... But like, <laughs> yeah, like this two, this two and two is five, yeah. man. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. He, he was terrible. And he went out and he failed his first test. And he come back with like three dangerous 17s. It was, it was, it was a yeah. bad test. And then we sat him down and he just went, look, mate, you've got to... Because he was like, I'll just pay for the retest. Like, you need more than just a retest, mate. We've got to put it into the public interest of if he's this poor, mm. we aren't sending him out on the mm. road in one of our trucks because yeah. it's a killing machine. It's yeah. as simple as that. Mm. <clears throat> so he come by and he, he, he were like, look, I'm, I want to do it. I really want to do it. He went, I've never seen a kid so determined yeah. to do it in my life have I seen him to do it. And he... Um, he went out and I swear to God, I don't know, it, something must have gone like that. I don't know if we were playing like Euro Truck Simulator or what, or, but that man come back like he'd been driving for about 18 years. Yeah. And went and just, I think I think he got a clean sheet yeah. on his next test. Oh, wow. So he'd gone from the worst person we'd ever have. Yeah. And then four days later, when he come to do his retest in a few hours, wow. the best. Mm. Maybe he was just playing you. Or, well, he's paying it. I'm a bother. He can play me as much as he wants. Or he sensibly looks like him to do it. Yeah. That's big at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 I've heard on the... Yeah, that is quite bad, yeah. that, to be honest. It, no, it won't. You could clearly tell it won't. Yeah. Um, what, a, what, a, what a sad... He's a couple of, we had a couple of sad ones. Um, I'm not going to say no names, but he uh, he come to do his driver training wheels. Um, he's seen us on TikTok and stuff mm. like that. come from Manchester, I believe. Um, and his sister had passed away. And she'd left it in a will that he did his lorry license. Always wanted to be a lorry like driver. Couldn't ever afford it. It's expensive to do. And I get that. And I 100% agree with you. But we are one of the cheapest to make it for people. Um, and he come and d he did his driving test. And he failed it. So we were like, look, we'll do it. He, he did, it wasn't over dramatic fail. It was just mm. like he'd gone round the corner and clipped a curb. And that were it. That's all he'd done. So he come back and uh, he, he went and did his test and he absolutely smashed it. And he, I'll never forget it because his sister were called, oh, called Pippa. And I got him a number plate that said Pippa. So when he passed his test, I said, you can always take your sister with you now. Yeah. And he, oh, I swear to God, I'm going to start roaring. Yeah. But he burst into tears, his geezer yeah. like. And I, and I swear to God, I'm like, shit like that. And I just think to him, this is why we do it. There yeah, was another guy exactly. in COVID. He'd lost his missus and he lost his um, lost his job. And this this guy had it rock bottom, yeah. like really had it rock bottom. And mm. big dude and all, he was like fucking eight foot, he was massive. And he come in and he'd wound himself up on test day that much. He went and just made a right pig's ear in it. But he was such a good driver, could tell us all about lorries. He just lorry through and through this kid. And he come in and ruined. Literally sat in front of me and ruined. And he says, I can't afford a retest. I've got nothing. Mm. Opened up his bank, everything. You know, I, I, don't, I don't need to know people's finances and stuff like that. And I just said, like, Look, mate, next one's on me. Good said, for you. He says, What do you mean? I says, It's on me, mate. Just oh. pass it. I want to I wanna help you. And he went out, and I swear to God, he won the best test. I think he got two minors on it. 
Yeah. And he went in absolutely. And it, the kid now still, he comes in with cards and so like chocolates and he still comes into this day and still like we've changed his life completely yeah. and, I, and I just think to me saying that's why we do it yeah. I don't I mean, we're only we're two lorry drivers from Barnsley and Sheffield we're not we're not you know what I mean I'm not Richard Branson and stuff no. like that does all this charity shit but it, it, we, we're, we're more to help the little guys yeah. and that's uh, we kind of lost it a bit when logistics started but I really want to get back into driver training and you just see like you, I've got them all and now like, my, my Facebook friends have gone from like 700 to nearly 4,000 now. Cause I just, everybody that comes in, I'll just add them and I yeah. just see what they're doing and how they're progressing and how they're growing yeah. and what they're up to. And you see them, they start off at like, I don't know, Aldi. And now they're doing like 150 ton every haulage. And you're like, yeah, yeah we did that. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 we we taught yeah. that. And uh, this, like I said, they're still coming now. And it's the people that you meet and like they're a company called Plant Fit. I, I love them. They, they are brilliant in Doncaster, all machineries and stuff like that. And then I met the driver, Baz. He's like one of my closest friends. And his son, I met him through his son coming through driver training, pissed up at Newark, truck show. <laughs> and I mean, pissed, you know, like <laughs> legless at Newark. And this little kid come up and he's only like, yeah, big. And he says, uh, you're on earth, aren't you? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really want to do my license. And I'm a kind of, a, if you want to do it, do it. Do it. Don't be umming and ahhing about it. And I just went, can you afford it? He went, yeah. And uh, literally, me being a knobhead, got card machine out. I swear to God, they're out of me a lorry. <laughs> yeah, like, there you go, mate, 300 quid deposit. I'll get your medical lot done. That's all you need. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then it's umming and ahhing. I just think, I thought you could I thought you could do it. Well, I can. Do it then. There you go then. Yeah. Tap that card on and your life will change forever. I need to go and get my dad. I went, I tell you what, mate, and this is honest truth, it was like nine o'clock at night. I said, if you haven't paid your deposit by 12 o'clock midnight tonight, and you're only from Doncaster, so you're not right corner. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't paid your deposit by midnight tonight, you are never training wheels. That's the deal. Yeah. But if you train wheels now, I'll knock you 100 quid off it all. Again, drunk. And he's like, oh, I'll pay it tomorrow. You won't, because I will not take your booking. Yep. And Martin stood next to me, and an a, a instructor we had that worked for us, um, and he's going, oh, he won't change his mind. Like... Because I'm like that. I, I don't, I, not that I don't need the work, yeah. but I don't beg for work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go and get my dad. I'm going to get Queen of England. <laughs> my mind's not going to change. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, God rest her soul. <laughs> and uh, anyway, this, uh, he went and got his dad. And I swear to God, man, his dad, Baz, is like 6'9", <laughs> built like a door, mate. He's a <laughs> massive. And I, even I'm a big guy yeah. and I'm like, Shit, maybe I'm a bit off a bit more than <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Big lorry driver, yeah. beard out here, Mohawk haircut. And he's like, his hands, man, are like this. He's just enormous, Baz. <laughs> and I'm not joking yet, enormous. We, I've introduced him to everybody. Like, everybody calls him Enforcer. Yeah. Because no one, no one takes no shit off Baz, right? <laughs> Apart from, like, me. <laughs> and uh, his dad come up and he's like, you nerf. And he shook my hand, man. And I swear to God, he's like, your hand wrapped around me it. twice. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's this about? You're not taking on my son. If he uh, don't pay his deposit now, nah. pissed up, mate, I stick with my word. Don't care how big you are, I stick with my word. Yeah. He shook me hand, he went, Get his Lewis there, clip round here and yeah. says, Get fucking paid. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh. and he tapped his card on it, and I swear to God, me and him have been like best mates ever yeah, since. Yeah. And he's such a, we went on to a funny story ever, right? Eh? It kills me, this. You know them chuffing ball things that you sit in and they fire up with elastic at fairgrounds yes. and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Peter Petruck show last year, me and Baz queuing up with all little kids and that to go on it. Steaming. Oh, no. <laughs> we get, we're queuing up. It cost me 50 quid, right? Because I wanted yeah. video as well. Just to get flung up in air on a ball. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Sits in it. And like I say, he's a big dude. He's, he's got to be like, I don't know, but he's probably less than this, but like 30 stone man. You know, he's, he's just a big guy. And we sat on the, <laughs> we're queuing up and we're next to go on. And these little kids are going, Way. and I'm shitting me, son, right? I'm pure. <laughs> Looked at him, he's drip white. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are we doing this? You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, because uh, I was sat, we sat like this. And I'm like, oh, I can't get in. <laughs> can't get into the seat. And I couldn't get harness off the top of my shoulders. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Turned and looked at Baz and he's got the seatbelt for the, the harness over the top of him. And bloke, man, I swear to God, you've never seen, because they put a seatbelt in, don't they, you know, for an extra clip. And he's pulling this seatbelt, man, trying to get around Baz's gut like, and I'm giggling like mad. <laughs> and he goes, I can't get, I can't get this seatbelt in. He says, 
Ah, oh, far away is it? And he went, about a foot and a half. <laughs> well, not really, well, it ah, set it off laughing. And I went, get me that fuck out of here, man. I'm gone. I am not sitting in this ball no. with like 70 stone going up in the air, man. This is Jesus. I said, I'm not fucking stop. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be orbiting me time yeah. we come back down. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. man, I mean, ag- pure yeah. agony with chuffing yeah. and laughing. But yeah. he's like, so these are people you yeah. meet in industry, yeah. do you know what I mean? Two blokes from fairground beat Elon Musk to the moon. Oh, 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 <laughs> honestly, man, we, uh, that would have took off. Like, yeah. That would have gone. We'd yeah. have sent that. Yeah. But like I said, these are the people that you, you meet. And yeah. you, like I said, I love, I love everybody that I have met. Yeah. And I could tell a thousand stories about them, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, and like I said, logistics is the same. Logistics, we've, yeah. we've, that would drive a training. Logistics, I've met, like I said, Trucker Sean. Trucker Sean, the best thing ever happened with me and him. And I'll tell you this very quick. I love the man. Genuinely, I will spend, I can go on my call log. I spend six hours a day on phone with that man. Yeah. We are fail. I've met his missus. Uh, they're, they're, just, they're just a beautiful people. You know what I mean? I'm not kidding you. I love the man. And when I first met him, he absolutely hated me with every ounce. <laughs> I swear to God, he would never have said a good word about me. Pulls up at Convoy Park. I just bought Volvo, right? Got it. Right buzzing about getting this Volvo. I'm starting logistics. Way. The fucking thing were limited to 53 mile an hour. So I've gone from like, wait, to I'm trundling dark road on my own because everybody else has left me. <laughs> and I'm getting more and more pissed off at this Volvo. Like, this is getting turned up. Yeah. I'm going to take limit off this. It's doing 100. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I was yeah. so angry with it. Just pulls up at convoy. Like I say, I'm not, I, I, I'm not boasting here, but when you go to these truck shows and stuff like that, you do get recognised and people come yeah. up and talk to you. I swear to God, I'd not even got out at driver's door or at last step. And Sean come up with a kid called Danny and uh, <laughs> ramps up. And he's Scottish, Sean, but like, he's, he's like a very camp Scottish. So yeah. he's like, you're not fan. At least that's how he talks, it's very funny. And Danny is like, Danny's really, really shy, quiet. Like, he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, who's these two fucking weirdos? Yeah, like, and that's, that's the first thought that come out of me and like, fucking weirdos already. And I just couldn't be asked because I was already annoyed. I've just got part of it. All I wanted to do is have a beer with lads and just chill out. So I just cold shouldered them. Literally like, oh, it was bad. It was bad. Like, and I'm every time they're talking, I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking, fuck off. You know, leave me alone. Uh, hey, listen, then, lads, enjoy the show. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time I kept saying it to them, they're still stood there. And I'm like, and then I think they got in and they were like, cool. And, just walked <laughs> up. and I'm like, well, thank fuck they have gone. And he added me on Snapchat and uh, we got chatting. And, and like I said, what a sound lad he is. Yeah. And, I, and I always say, this, I wish I'd have been friends with him then because I'd yeah. have had even longer to be friends yeah. with him. Yeah. And like I said, this is just lorry driving. And yeah. it, 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 this is, and not even with fitters. When I was out fitting, I had met some brilliant fitters, like lads that I would literally still talk to this day and still go out for a drink with, and we still all meet up. And it, it, it's it's just the industry you're working. We uh, no nobody, everybody judges you, but doesn't care. Mm. So everybody will look at your work and go, Nafe's done that." You can always tell when I've done it because it's half done. <laughs> oh, I'm still with about eight bolts thinking they should be in there somewhere. Yeah. And you're like, what's going off? Because I, I go on tangents all the time yeah. and I forget what I'm doing here for time. And, uh, but then somebody else will come over and then like I say, you just have band to each other. And uh, yeah, like I say, sometimes I do miss when I was fitting. I do. But I'm going back into it in a way with service fan yeah. and stuff like Because mm. just never, I always think to say, never forget where you've come from, if you mm. know what I mean. So yeah. Like I said, bus driving. I were a bus driver for. I always wanted to be a bus driver, by the way. That was my lifelong goal. I've got a tattoo of a double decker bus on my leg. <laughs> no, straight enough. Yeah. Honestly, it's about that big. It's not small. It's massive. <laughs> um, when I were growing up. Um, was that drunk? Or? No, no, straight enough. <laughs> like, honestly. So it's. Uh, You've not seen the double decker TikTok video? No, I actually haven't. Which one? I've done quite a few. I've seen the, I think the one where you've picked up and then the one where you drop somebody off and you go. Oh, bye bye, bye driver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. honestly, have you not seen that bye bye driver? That yeah. little old last. Bye bye driver. Bye, bye, driver. Yeah. Mate, you, you buy a double decker bus, you are doing that yeah. shit straight yeah. away. Like, oh, literally the first thing. Yeah. Oh, like, my run it is going. 
bike driver. I'm driving double decker. Honestly, we were increasing with laughing. That was funny until we stopped at a bus stop the first time. This is like an uncut one. And a woman got on. <laughs> she brought me on bus. This is how, this is sometimes, oh, I, sh- I check my heads up with lads at yeah. work for us. And because uh, they put an L plate on side at bus. Yeah. Obviously, we, 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 we're yellow and white, we've changed it to blue. And they've done a really good job at it, to be honest, lads. Um, and they put an L plate on side at bus. And I went, What are you doing that for? They went, Just so people know that we're, we're a learning bus, we're not a service bus. I went, All right. Why the fuck's on offside? <laughs> no. And they looked at me and go, like, <laughs> Yeah, so people at the other side of the road and that. But surely you'd have it on the back. They're always yeah. going to run across road for a bus, no, haven't you? know no. what I mean? And that's the, sometimes I sit there and go, oh, yeah. I could just sell this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somebody else's problem, <laughs> isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. When you come in and they, they just are like, why, why, have you not, why have you not parked that lorry there? Oh, I thought that somebody else would. Mm. Right? <laughs> well, well, they haven't. Yeah, I know. But somebody might. <laughs> so, so why don't you put your lorry there then? That's a very good idea, that. Yeah. I sit there like, okay. <laughs> you, know, you get it like you say with, with, with parts people, like our parts suppliers, right? I, I have the biggest laugh with them ever. Mm. Right, yeah. Nets. Yeah. Nets at Rotherham, man. Through and through. Yeah. I'm doing that for I go discount. We work uh, with Nets, don't we? We do. Do you? Nets at Rotherham. Yeah, Mate. Adam will work yeah, with, Adam, I would imagine yeah. so. And up in Rotherham. the northeast. And Nets have got, Jeff, there's a Jeff, there's is Lord, it? Jeff? Because Adam always goes, Jeff from Nets. So I think there's, no, there's Simon a, and Paul. It uh, must be right. And I think Jeff is maybe northeast. Well, I've worked with these guys mm. years. And I have this thing now where, do you know you're ringing up when you get parts numbers? And then you use your phonetic alphabet. Yeah. I have this thing now, you know, to straight confuse them. Use the silent letters in words. You ever do it? Do it, mate. It's the funniest thing. You will watch people get so good. Like K for knife. Yeah. <laughs> G for gnome <laughs> you know I mean? X for xylophone yeah. and you see them really confused yeah. P for pneumonia <laughs> you know I mean? P for pterodactyls my favourite one and they sit there probably like what? oh I'm doing this until, until oh. the other day when I went full to insurance and I forgot what H was right I swear to god there's some moments in my life where I think to myself how the fuck have I got staff right <laughs> And it were H. And obviously with Barnes accent, I'm like, H. And they're like, eight. I'm like, no H. And they're like, A. I'm like, no H. And they went, can you say it phonetically? And I, I swear to God, I forgot you were a hotel. No, for half a minute, we just yeah. think, no idea what this is. And I went, H for Aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, I thought Aardvark was spelling it. And all, everybody's laughing at me. I'm like, oh, it's not, no, is it? No. It's <laughs> A. <laughs> But I thought it was hard for yeah. like, Honestly, do that when you're ringing your customers and that. Yeah. J- just try it, mate. I'm going to do so the petrol funny. stations when we've got the fuel cards. And they go, what's the reg? Because I'm normally Mike Delta, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna think of something really P for pneumonia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. K for knife. K for knife is the best one. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> then they can't argue yeah. with you. Because like, what? Yeah. It's right. It's K, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? They can't, they can't say what about it. Just honestly, just go through life just yeah. laughing. Yeah. So if you don't, you're just miserable. Yeah, I know where people are miserable and you get them, I get them all the time, yeah. but I just make them laugh. Yeah. It, it's like when people say, like, uh, when somebody walks in and goes, what's up with you? Hate that. Do you know what I mean? Because if you're mm. you say I get bad days, everybody gets a bad chuffing day. Mm. Like we had one, I, I'll admit it, I punched an all in door because we had three lorries have a crashing space of five minutes. And that, that, that just overwhelms you. Me and Martin, my God, I've, I've, <coughs> I'm right hard for half a second. Right? Yeah. I punched the keyboard once and all the keys went all over the place. Because <laughs> I can't remember what we'd argued about. When we first started, starting a business is hard. Mm. Hard. And having a partnership is hard. He likes it his way and I like it my way. You're both right. We're both right. Yeah. We're both not wrong. He gets mongy, and I'm pointing because he's watching. <laughs> he gets mongy, I get angry. I'll literally just get his keyboard and snap it and then walk out. The, the worst one we ever had where we had that kind of van and all walls had walked. And I <laughs> and I, I punched the keyboard. We'd argued about something. I think he'd done something wrong. Or I'd done something. I don't know what happened anyway. Punch keyboard, keys come flying out and I'm like, Ugh. and I couldn't get out of nowhere. And it's one of them little stupid twist locks and it won't open. And I swear to God, right, for about 20 seconds, I'm like, 
fucking raging though. And he's like laughing. I know he's laughing behind me. But I'm shaking like this. I'm like, <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> I couldn't get out. I told, I told the dude to go out that way. <laughs> Honestly, I was so angry at dawn. It ripped it off. I was yeah. that angry. But the thing is with me, I'll, I'll walk back in. Cause back then I used to smoke. I just stopped now. And uh, I used to go out have a seat and calm down and come back in. And it'd go, oh, you're hard. <laughs> and I'd just <laughs> laugh and then that'd be it. would be done. But like I said, par- partnerships are hard. Yeah. Very, very hard. Starting a business is going to be the most stressful mm. thing I have ever done. Yeah. No, tell a lie, it's not. Taking on staff is because I worry about if I can't pay my staff. Mm. That frightens the shit out of me. That's my biggest fear, mm. apart from spiders and chalk. For some reason, I don't like <laughs> chalk. Uh, that, that's my biggest fear in any business. Yeah. Any business. You could have all best tackling this or other, but if you can't pay the man working for you, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't do not do that. Like, yeah. you're, you're playing with somebody's life there, aren't you? It's not... Mm. And that, that that's the that's the my biggest fear. Yeah, but and it's ne- not happened. And does that keep you? Would. Is that one of the reasons though? It keeps you working on thinking about what can we do next? How can we? How can no, we I end up buying shit if not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I mean, I am unstable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why that bottom of the house? I've sat down for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking? I've been going on the jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, see that daff out there? <laughs> yeah. Dawn, because I'll just go out and what she wants. I go like, I'll be like, just pause this for a minute, and I'll go around like, and I go home like I bought a new thing, and I've got to come back and get car. And it's oh. other day I like said, so me and I don't really think. Yeah. Don't ever think about anything. Just do it. If you want to do it, oh, let's let's buy a wrecker. So my mate owns wreckers. Uh, one of my closest mates, Paul at Rise Autos. Paul and Mark, two brothers. The dad started it. Brilliant firm. Uh, they've recovered me a few times. And I always said to him, I'd never ever start, I'd never ever buy a wrecker while he's got wreckers. Because I don't want him to drive up and up a driving school. It's mm. your mates, aren't you? You know what I mean? And uh, we were talking one day and he just, and I just went, I've all, he knows I've always wanted one because I'm front wreckers and stuff. And he went, just go and buy one, mate. You, I don't care. I went, what? <laughs> just go and buy one. I swear to God, that was last week. Brought a wrecker yesterday. <laughs> Because you just go for it. Just yeah. go 120 yeah. mile an hour at everything because there's no point looking back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're yeah. doing. And mm-hmm. if it don't work, it don't work. I no. just sell it. I say, at least I've had a go at it. Yeah. It's like if all this went to something, oh, her nerves back up taxi. At least I had the bollocks. To give it a go. Like Jack Spanners, we've had the guts to go out and think, you know what? I don't, I want to be the yeah. man. I yeah. want to, I want to go out there and work hard. Sandy, Sandy's bought his own lorry, mm-hmm. does all his work he's sent. Brilliant kid. Nice scanny. It, not, it's a scanny, but <laughs> I'm not a scanny man, mate. No. It does nothing for me Jody's at all. Jodie's got a, a scanny as well, isn't she? She's got a scanny. Involved Who? Scanny. Jody. Oh, jo- oh Pete yeah. Trucker, Jodie. Jack's yeah. missus. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. got a scanny. Uh, do not for me. No. Love Jodie. Honest yeah. to God, love Jodie. Yeah. I rip the death out of her. Like, it, it's bad. <laughs> like, yeah. some, sometimes even people are like, it's a bit unfair that. Yeah. Oh, that. And I'm like, but she knows I love her. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And Jack knows I love her. Um, I, uh, I don't know how she drives that in London. Like, wow. Like some of her stories make me absolutely giggle where she's stuck and she's just waiting for people to move or whatever. It's brilliant. Do you know what? <clears throat> London driving, man. Yeah. I swear to God. I, I've done it. I've done it a few times back in the day. When I've had logistics, I've done it once. I'll never yeah. do it again. No. You know why? I've got a 600 quid fine. Oh, really? What was that for? Driving in one of them chuffing zones, I'm not yeah. supposed oh, right, to. Okay. I did it when I went to London when we were last oh, month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drove home, thought, oh, days, that was all right. And then two weeks later, you get a fine through the door. Mm. £90 for not paying a congestion charge. 600 the street, yeah. £600. Pound. I wrote to Rishi Soon at me. Did you? Yeah, call him a knobhead. <laughs> that's all I put, you're a knobhead. <laughs> in fact, funny story, I was in uh, Richmond, that's where my... Uh, grandparents live up in the northeast, and uh, we just sat in this pub just for a meal. I think it was, I can't remember whose birthday it was, but we just sat there. You would never have thought, just some random pub, little tiny little place, nice place. And Reese Sinnott walks in, sits at the table next to us. No, and I'm gone. going, hey, PM's here, PM's here. And my grandparents go, yeah. I'm like, no, no, the, the PM, the PM. And they could not care less at all. Right. Like, oh, yeah, no, he's our local constituent, so our local MP, even. So, yeah. I wouldn't even know who mine is. <laughs> no, no. But do you know if like Paul Chuckle walked in, you yeah, yeah. from Rotherham, born and bred Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I watched it last night for some reason. I yeah. love. Yeah. I really, really want it, mate. I've always said this. I, I swear to God, if if the record thing takes off, I'm going to reach out to Paul Chuckle. So I want to airbrush the the Chuckle Brothers on my lorry because I think they are that 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 that's my life. Do you yeah. know, just going through making mistake. I've always said that. 
going through, making mistakes, and then just go and just yeah. carrying on with yeah. life. And they're yeah. like, that's literally me and mine are just like the Chuckle Brothers. Yeah. We just go out. It's like the other day we were sat in office. I'm like a bit bored here. And he's yeah. like, yeah, we just got a football out. Yeah. We started having a kick about a yard. Yeah. And then like other lads are coming in and then even trainers uh, train in, sorry, they're having a kick about with us. Yeah. And it's just like, what other driving school do you got? It's like using military, innit? I can remember mm. doing mine, it were a pain in the ass. And I'm like, just make it fun because it relaxes you. It's a scary thing doing a driver training thing. Yeah, driver training course, sorry. It's a scary thing. And people get so et up with them saying, and I just think, what's the point? You're not gonna you're not, you're not gonna go on. You know what I mean? If no. you if you fail, it don't chuffy matter. Just do it again. You yeah. know, you're not gonna take your license off you. Yeah? Mm. Unless you do it in the military and then they shout at you. That's what happens if you Yeah, unless you're military. Yeah, well Brett's Brett's ex military. I did, I did do my did you? Yeah. And we had a guy, so I was in the remit, but this guy was in the ILC and you ever seen the Oshkoshes? That- oh God, man, I'd die for one of them. So for them to be able to drive the Oshkosh with a low loader on it, they aren't allowed to fail any of the tests going through uh-huh. it. And if they do, that's it. They can, they can never drive an Oshkosh. Whether it still is now, I don't know, or even if it was true, but this is what this this ILC guy was told me. So he passed the first one, then we went to, to the CPC and he failed it. Bloody hell. Yeah, no, he came in and he was, yeah, he was defeated. I can imagine. If that, that, was, that, was, that was his, yeah, that was his career. He was, he was going, he was driving an Oshkosh and that was him. And then now he's not. Oh. Did you pass first time? Yeah. <coughs> yeah Have you got your HGV? Hey. Have you got your HGV? Are you joking? <laughs> Brett, Brett, <laughs> Brett, the they'll only, they'll only let me in the company cars. <laughs> we have a booster seat option available <laughs> yeah. at the city driver training yeah. for the uh, vertically... <laughs> is it vertical? Like? Vertically challenged. Is that, yeah. That's vertical, yeah, 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 yeah. should know yeah. that, should I? Yeah, yeah. yeah vertically challenged. I'm looking at Ben now, is that right? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's all right. Yeah. You what, sorry? I didn't, no, it is vertically challenged. Oh. I am I am vertically challenged. I'm, uh, I'm also no, challenged at driving as well. I don't see Louie as a trunker. Definitely no, not. No. no, you look like you're just going out road screaming. I am. <laughs> yeah. We really yeah. 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 I have a harder job in the company cars, don't I, Brett? So there's been there's been some calls. Oh, I've done this. Oh, I've I've done this. Oh, oh, oh I've I've cocked up. But yeah, so yeah, no, don't put me in anything. Yours is yours is I've brought a thing. Yours is I've done a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've brought a thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, yeah. doing the. Yeah. Uh, you get your lorry. Everybody should have the lorry. Yeah. I said this about cars as well. So we do cars. <laughs> we do it. We do. I'm going into motorbikes and all. Um, all it summer, I ain't going to be riding in no rain. No. <laughs> Tell you that now. Nah. We'll be Harley. Oh God, mate! I've got. Yeah. I want a, a BMW GS. That was my last bike. I've just sold. I've just bought an Ayabusa, and that scares the death. Yeah. Oh mate, I look like the fattest Power Ranger. <laughs> you've ever seen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I bought alt leathers and that, and I stood in there and thinking, you look an absolute. <laughs> Do you know, like when you get a new toothpaste and you squeeze it and then let it go, and it just still looks like that. I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't look attractive at all. I thought I look mint, you know, yeah. all my letters. Yeah. And I stink when I take it off because it's just sweat that's pouring <laughs> off yeah. me. And I swear to God, I mean, I get hot anyway. I'm sweating now. And uh, you've never seen me in letters in 40 degree heat. God almighty, man. It, it's like somebody's, you know, you leave bin out too long. <laughs> and it swells and that. It's like that, mate. It's awful. Brilliant. With my helmet on. And then, because I've got quite a fat head and all, we put helmet on each shop and they were like, you need a 2XL. I've bought helmets before and I'm like, me, I am bigger than a 2XL helmet. And they're like, no, 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 there's this new Ranger helmet. You just you're saying you're not listening to me, so you might as well. Swear to God, mate. It, it, you know, like when they print it on, it just goes, boom. And I'm like, that's not going to come off. <laughs> and it took four members of staff to get it off. It, Donnie in a motorbike shop. I, I have never been so embarrassed in my life. They're pulling me ears out and I'm like, oh my God. And then they knock me like, they're like oh, don't worry, if you get an helmet, we'll sort you a little bit of discount. So I'm going mad because I'm yeah. like, I told you it's not going to fit. Yeah. They were like, you remember laughing? So I might have to cut this off. That's how tight it was. Wow. And they had to really pull it either side. I'm like trying to pull my head out. I'm going to snap my neck. And they're going, um, yeah, you need to you like pull and twist. And if we cut it off, we'll have to invoice you for helmet. Hey. I'll go home with it on the other end <laughs> before yeah. you know that. I'll have a for a straw before you, before you take no helmet off. it become another Tesco shirt. <laughs> yeah, a crash helmet. Why are you wearing that, F? Well, <laughs> I'm waiting for winter when my head dies down a bit. And uh, yeah, so we're going into motorbikes. That's another venture. I just want to, I want to make it a one-stop shop yeah. where mm. we can do everything that you want. Yeah. Like, from logistics to recovery to driver training to mm. motorbike cars. And I think, like I said, with cars, run about this other day. I think there should be something in the law now where cars drivers, as soon as you pass a test, they have to go out in a lorry for 20 minutes. Yeah. Because well, it's so dangerous, man. Is it, what's the, 
year now, if you pass your test after a certain year, you can't drive over, you can't drive three and a half ton or above, isn't it? I, I can't mm-hmm. on my license. You can drive a, you can drive a caravan on back now. So you can drive a B plus E up to seven ton. Yeah. But you can't drive anything over three and a half ton yeah. block. Unless you were passed your test before. 1997. Yeah. 1997. Yeah. I'm well off that. Maybe. And it's probably a good job. Were you even born in 1997? Uh, yes. Were yes, you? I was. I was two in 1997. There you go. Two year old. Yeah. You were 55. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what the problem, problem is? I'm, I think... Right. I, I, I'm sort of waiting. I had one bloke, I was, I, I was 17. I was just about to turn 18. I was working under supervision because I always thought, how am I working on a bar under 18? <laughs> so apprentice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and, uh, some, some, and I always used to, I always get it. I still get it today. You know, I, I, how old are you? You got your ID? It, it's paracetamol. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but um, I had some bloke come in and he said, uh, he sat down, he ordered a glass of wine and he sort of looked at me and went, just, just frown again, just smile. He went, God, you are going to be a right wrinkly old get you are one day. And I was like, oh, cheers. So I'm actually waiting for a little bit of wrinkle. God, you are wrinkly. Yeah, look. You know, I thought I got, I thought I got full Wi-Fi. Yeah, 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 I yeah, swear yeah. to God, man. Jones, I did Jesus. lose a bit of weight and I think, I think I've just, it's just, I've got this. What, in your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I need to lose weight here. Yeah. You know I mean? I've never once got, you know, my forehead yeah. looking a bit rough now. You know what I need, mean? So I'm going to need some, some Botox. But I am waiting for something to help me with, yeah, making me look a bit older because... It, I'm not gonna lie, it's annoying. And if I don't take my ID somewhere, I am that bloke that will let down all of his mates, all the people that you've gone out with, because no one's getting in, because you're not bringing that child in here. But you are like, so obviously when I were at Dorman, you are like soft spoken. If you walked up and went, hello, <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah. fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get away, yeah. man, I'll hold you in. Yeah. <laughs> you walk up and go, hey, I'm grabbing a wind. And it's like, come on, kid, <laughs> I'll buy you one. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, that might be half my issue. Yeah, just be like, just walk up. Confidence is yeah. key, man. Yeah. Just be like, no, stop, yeah. dog. Yeah. Well, that's what you need to do. <laughs> Were you wrinkly for it? Just brown some more. Just walk in like that. How many times? Who's this walking up here? Do you need help, sir? <laughs> so I do need I do need a bit of that I it's just when you're on off at child's menu at Weatherspoons that's when yeah. people are throwing it off yeah. oh I could yeah. eat a full yeah. <laughs> yeah. mixed grill yeah. <laughs> so I, can, I think I can surprise people how much I can eat I'm not only a small guy but I can eat really yeah. oh yeah oh yeah if I, I struggle I, I struggle with it if I didn't do the exercise that I do with the amount I eat a day oh yeah I can I can eat yeah really yeah when I was doing strong, man, that were, that were a challenge. Yeah. I was like 28, 29 stone. I were a big dude. Um, I mean, I'm 6'5", so I'm tall anyway, and I carry it well. I'm 24 a minute, and that's like cruising weight for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm quite healthy now. Um, and I was getting up 6 o'clock in the morning, 10 Weetabix in a bowl. Hey. Yeah. And then... Nine o'clock. And <laughs> do you ever seen that bloke that does fish in a rice cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, honestly, man, that's your life when you're doing strong, man. Apart from it's just meat. Yeah. Like, you've got to get it in. You've got to get your protein in. You've got to get some carbs in. Yeah. And you've just got to burn it off in gym. And it's not only some bollocks of two minutes in gym, look at me, send it, mirror, take a selfie, put it on Facebook, you tagged in it, so you've no. been. It's three hours. Yeah. Pure. Right. But it's, it's not, it's, people say like three hours in gym. But you're not doing three hours. Mm. So you, you, you're resting quite yeah. a lot because you're doing such every way. I, I burst a blood vessel in my head doing a deadlift, like 300 kilo, and it just popped, which is, it hurts. I've dislocated jaws, stuff like that, doing lifting. <sighs> it, uh, it really does hurt, man. Yeah. It hurts. And I, obviously lockdown happened and that slowed <clears> me down a lot because we were going to gym illegally, I'm not going to lie. And then they got caught and then we all got done. So that was that. <laughs> and then uh, they had to shut down. It was like, it was trying to find another gym then that, well, that took, because you, you get like your friend circles in and a lot, yeah. a lot of strong men I did it where they all stopped. And it was like, well, if they're stopping, I need to stop. Mm-hmm. And that's when we started company. And it, uh, it, it's just chapters in life. I always think to me, like I said, if you, have, if, you got a, if you haven't got a goal, you're just existing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just doing the same thing every day. And yeah. these people that do that, you crack on. People that work in, like you say, your shopping centres and they've done it for like 30, 40 years. As long as you're happy, do it. Yeah. Yeah. These people that do it and aren't happy, lorry drivers, man, fitters, mm. they got me tits when they turn around and say, I could stack shelves in Asda for more. Well, fuck off and do it. Do, it, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I've always said the, the worst thing about the haulage industry is lorry drivers. Yeah, moaners. The worst people <laughs> in the world. Mm. You, but you get the best ones. You either get the ones that love the job or ones that hate the job. Why do people that hate the job do it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Is it they secretly love it, but... 
I, I had a comment on TikTok the other day and I did a reply to it because it annoyed me. And because I, I promote lorry driving industry, I promote the fitting industry, I promote uh, everything to do with HGV. I will promote If it's got wheels, it. if it's got wheels, if it turns, <laughs> drive it. It's yeah. as simple as that. And um, he commented on it and he was like, if you don't want to see your family and all this, and a national minimum, you know, it's fucking stop story. That, I've seen that one, yeah. Have you seen it when I yeah. replied to him? And I'm like, look, mate, the job is what you make it. You, yeah. We want to make it hard. You'll, be, you'll have a yeah. shit time. <laughs> the only thing I don't get about that comment, and if you don't like his job is, his profile photo is him smiling next to his lorry. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? You, you, you've wrote a shitty comment, but you, you love it enough to take a photo with your truck. Mm. So we're right here, you know what mm. I mean? Because I take a photo of my truck, near enough every time I stand next to it. Yeah. I'm one of them. Do you know, like when you see a bird's ass, you're like, Whoo. I'm like <laughs> with my lorry when I'm going for a shit at Teldita Services, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'll always wow, look back look, and yeah. just go, that's a sexy truck. Like <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I, I am like that 100%. Yeah. I'll always turn back and look at my yeah. truck. It's my truck. Yeah. And, mm. I, every, and lorry drivers that do it, and I know a lot. I'll, I'll go out and I'll, I'll stop at services with him and they'll always look back at the lorry. Danny's, Danny works at uh, Arison. Mm. He, uh, he's... He's got a FH, which by the way, he Volvo through and through with this kid, right? Yeah. Who I met at Witch on, and he punched the bird at Volvo it through, and I, I swear to God, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> By accident. Wait, what? <laughs> just, 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 don't say anything yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please keep this on because he says he gets very embarrassed by it. So he's Volvo. I'm Volvo. I'm well, mate, and I'm daft. Um, truck's a truck. I don't care what they are as long as it earns money for me. Yeah. But I do like my trucks. Mm. Um, anyway, he's Volvo. Cut him, Volvo. Anyway, Volvo come round and want to do some filming. I did my train on for him. Uh, so I bought these train ons literally off a train. <laughs> Took them off, put them on my lorry, which I stupid like. I went deaf in one ear when we did it first time because I stood too close. Uh, that is that is tr- genuine truth, that. And um, we, uh, a guy called Pete, come and fit him on. Pete's, I met Pete, he's a fitter. Uh, met Pete when I worked at a company in Rotherham. And literally one of the nicest guys, fitter, knows. He's kind of like a really, really quiet Jack Spanners. Yeah. So much pride in everything he does. And he spends that much time in detail. And, and I, I've got to admit this, and I'll say it now, I, he's, he's just an honour to have as a friend. Yeah. Because that guy will, if I'm stuck with any lorry, straight there, mm-hmm. it don't matter. And he will work and do overtime at his work and then still come on his day off. Okay. And like, and like we were doing it the other day and I wanted to do so. I can't remember. I think I had to go and look at a truck. This is what I'm getting at with fitters and stuff like that. You met friends with the good ones. I rang him up and I says, look, I need, I need an help. In fact, it were a gel test they've got. Yeah. Um, one of me Mercs and the engine light on. <coughs> I'm just a bit busy at minute. Blah, blah, blah. Run it up. No worries. Straight there, plugged it in, turned it off. It was just a uh, shit come through, had blue. Mm. Um, sorted it out, done. Literal though. Literal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they clog up on yeah, filters yeah. and that. Just took it out, cleaned it out, put it back in. How much? Why would I? Why would I ever charge a mate? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, and that's what he, that that's that's Pete. Yeah. And he, like I say, he's all got about his, who you know. It's <laughs> all about who you know. But the thing is, and I always think this: if he were a cock or I were a cock, I wouldn't help each other out. No. You wouldn't. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't. He'd be the last person you'd ring. Yeah. And, and like I said, I've met. He's, we met at work. I were a driver there, and he were a fitter. We met, and we just he come out to a first ever breakdown I had with a truck, and uh, obviously tools. I were a driver. And it were at Coca Cola at Wakefield. I'll never, I'll never forget it. And it, it was red hot. <laughs> and uh, I were a bit cheeky back then. And obviously, oh, oh, I used to just go in and say, where's your free fridge? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Don't stop with this bollocks, man. Yeah. Just give me a free drink. Yeah. And he come in, he's like, do you reckon you could get us a drink? Really, really, really yeah. quiet kid, do you know what I mean? He, but art of gold. Oh, uh, give me two minutes. I can, first time I ever met him, <laughs> give me two minutes. And I swear to God, I come out with like, 18 bottles of like <laughs> fan there and all that. Like, which one do you want to take them? Because quick, <laughs> like, everybody see us. And it's like, which one am I? Up and you do it. Just make sure you idiom before you go out of security because yeah. we're getting short. Yeah. That's what it was like, man. Yeah. And, and we just we just took it off and then I bought a van off him. Uh, and then we, I don't even know where I'm going with this story, but <laughs> it goes off on a tangent, doesn't it? And then, like I said, these are the people when you come into this industry. Yeah. And you got to surround yourself with people that know what they're doing, mm. who aren't here to just bullshit. Yeah. And I swear to God, I'm 31 year old and I play with him on Fortnite 
<laughs> every Friday night. We have a fortnight Friday, right? There's me, Sean, Trucker Sean, a last called Jade from Scotland, which is just lovely. And because uh, we've got a girl in our group. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? We've got yeah. a girl game, and that means we are, honest to God, not virgin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That makes us yeah. like, we play against other teams are like, there's a, there's a girl? I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. we are cool. Yeah. And we call us a team BO. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, man, I have to start this little light in memory. Yeah. But I like, I like I say, six and a half foot dorm yeah. and fucking just got all these trucks in the company. I'm sat at home yeah. with my headset on. Nah. Game P. <laughs> Fortnite, when that first came out, even for the first, you know, before they started overdoing it with all these map changes oh what a game oh man what honestly a game. don't know how to play it but I will sit there every Friday we are free oh, with my mates yeah. and I will just play so I, I don't drink oh well, I do drink mm-hmm. only on occasions because I just need to be saying if something goes wrong at work or my lads are in trouble I need to go you're ready I'm yeah. gone so I don't really drink fruit week in summer I'll, I'll have a you know what I mean a Bailey's yeah you know what I mean because <laughs> I'm like that <laughs> every now and then I'm a bit posh <laughs> <laughs> And then our lass is like an alky, you know what I mean? She's this smash trying to throw stuff at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, she's not at all. <laughs> I'm like, don't hurt me again. <laughs> Honestly, man, our lass is like five and a half foot and she scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Honestly, God, man, she's the only bird that ever frightens me. And she's brilliant in every single way. Yeah. She's, uh, she's the one that I, I've always, like I said, we smoke out really bad. And everybody should stop. I hope you put this on there because it's bad for you. Yeah. And don't vape either because that's even worse. And, um, I've always struggled with it. And then when I met her, I, says, I just woke up and I just went, pretty Ben. So that's me done. You, you, you make me happy enough. Yeah. She supports everything that I do. Mm. And that's same in, in, in the haulage industry you, and in this fitting industry, it, it is a very, very male dominated industry. Yeah. We can all admit that yeah. it really, really is male dominated. Yeah. Cause I'm quite a big character and I'm out there loud and a, a big dude. Yeah. I could demasculate a room like that. Like, I'm here, my presence here. I do all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, shit me some of you Saturday, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I That's what I'm saying, I'm like, how far away is he? <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I'm terrified. That's why there's two of us on here, just in case you, in case you pounce. You know? <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Right? When he come over and says, put that in there, that big tea, I'm like, geez, I ain't drunk it. Yeah. I dare yeah. drop muck. <laughs> Spilt a bit all day, yeah. I had to tell him. Yeah. I'm like, you want me to go and buy a mop? <laughs> yeah. You make fucking better. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, calm yeah. down, big boy. Yeah. 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 And uh, anyway, yeah, it's all about my males and that. He's, and the, the, he's so hard for him. And I've got to say, like, if people just helped each other, just yeah. do it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? What mm. What does it take for five minutes, sir? Go on, kid, I'll show mm. you back. It don't take no. no. I did a TikTok. Well, I didn't really do a TikTok. I took it off my dash cam. And a lot of people thought I'd just filmed it. Why the fuck would I film this in, man? But the car brought down in the middle lane on, M6, on M60, I think it was. I can't remember. Brought, literally brought down. And I did it. And I, I did it a bit of a piss tech. And it kind of impacted quite a lot. And I was like, oh, shit. And it ended up on like this morning and stuff. And uh, it brought down hazards on. And everybody's going around him and stuff like that. And they were going up in a little bit. Hazards on. I'm in my truck. Pulls up behind him. Gets out. Pissing it down in rain. So you all right? And I swear to God, there were blokes out there. Fucking like this. Yeah. I said, you all right, kid? It's like, it just won't start. So you got fuel, like, because he was like, if you ain't got fuel, like, tit. Full tank, and, and that's all it we're doing. He's like, just cut out on me, and I can't get over. And everybody's beeping and stuff like that. He says, time break off, kid, I'll push you. And they're like, what? See, yeah, time break off, me. I'll just push you to our shoulder. So I stopped this other traffic, and the lorry driver went faster. Honestly, we're all going around him. And I stopped him, and, and I started pushing. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, this car's heavy. <laughs> you know, like, really, like a fucking yeah. focus. Come on, uh, I'm just going to realise it's uphill, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to blow my ass out here. And he's like, uphill, man. Yeah, like, right. Let's like, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm pushing this car uphill. <laughs> and then I'm like, really blowing it. I'm going it, going Hell, mate, you got the handbrake on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> it's in thirst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, we're only two junctions down, mate. You want to keep going? <laughs> <laughs> the best MPG I've ever got is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it. And then all of a sudden, it got right light. And another lorry driver jumped out. And he was pushing it with me. Yeah. And we pushed it to mm-hmm. our shoulder. And a bit of a piss tech, I put uh, on TikTok, and I put the... Um, uh, I can be your hero, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Honestly, God, it's a joke, man. 
And then I looked at my phone and like 2,000 people had watched it. Took my phone and so I did a tip in Donny. Come back out to my phone and it were at 1.8 million. Wow. And I'm like, you know. And I swear to God. I've done a thing. <laughs> I've done a thing. And nobody said a bad word about it. And I'm like, and I'm like, people need to be more like yeah. this. And it got to the point where I'm thinking to be saying, I thought that were natural. Yeah. Somebody breaks down, you help them, don't you? You know what I mean? Mm. It's as simple as that. Do you know, I think there's a thing on the roads where everybody gets in some sort of vehicle, whatever it is, and turns mm. into a bit of a bully. You've got to get your elbows out. Everybody's, yeah. oh, you know, not letting you in. You're an idiot. You've got the wrong lane. That. But then you get in the wrong lane and then you go, you didn't let me in. Yeah. <clears throat> or oh, is that just me? <laughs> Yeah, I bet you're terrifying when you jump out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I jump out the car. Oh, no, you don't window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Excuse me, you rascal. <laughs> <laughs> you Jiminy <Yeah>. Cricket? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you better calm oh, down there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't oh. kick me in. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, so we, we, we had it. I, I don't know, when you, when you pump the chair right up, you do look. I, I, I won't think. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't know about that. I don't know how that handles for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you when you get out of that booster seat, I'm telling you that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with my pedal extensions. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's it's true. No, no, no. Um, yeah, when we're sat on back seat, we went out me and Marty once. Have you ever drove a learner car while you've had your driving license? No. No. It is the greatest thing you will ever do in your life, right? And I swear to God, the funniest car in the world to drive is a learner car. Mm. Hear me out. So me, we obviously have learner cars and stuff like that. And we went out to my car, like Sniptick shop. So you just stall it for fun, right? You've got your box on and that. People aren't going to get mad, are they? So you just keep stalling it, right? <laughs> but then we always play this game. I know we shouldn't do it. I shouldn't be saying yeah. it. We play this game of how bad can we get people <laughs> oh, God. in a short space of time? So me and Martin's are, and I swear to God, but then even if you're in passenger seat, you've still got their clutching that, haven't yeah, you? So what you do is you just keep your foot on their clutch. So when they go to set off, this red bollocks off it and roll back. <laughs> and it's just funny as hell, you know what I mean? It's brilliant. <laughs> And we, we do it like how mad we could get people. I'll never, ever forget it. We were sat at a set of traffic lights and I stole it at this green light. I'm laughing and Martin's laughing. Goes back to red. <laughs> so it goes back to green. <laughs> That's all I did, right? Goes back to fucking red again. Goes back to green. <laughs> and I'm sat there pissing my sides with laughing, right? So anyway, Martin's like, oh yeah, fucking stop. You're going to give us a bad name. I'm like, ow, we're in a learner car. <laughs> yeah. you know? He's like, oh, your driver's stalled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, we get straight at it. I say, Martin is my witness. Beep, behind us, this yeah. bloke in a convertible. And I looked at Martin, he looked at me and I just went, oh, and brake on. And I got out, a driver's yeah. screen, I was driving. And I got out, walked it back. And I swear to God, this bloke's face dropped. dropped. Yeah. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I went, got a fucking problem here. <laughs> Lent or in his car. I went, we got a problem here. He's like, oh, just, you keep stalling. I went, let's just assess the situation, <laughs> right? What do you think the L stands for? <laughs> fucking laxidaisy. <laughs> and I forgot to say it every time. And he's, he's like, I'm so, so sorry. And I went, you want to be careful, you're pipping at me. <laughs> Gets back in, wheel spins through green light. <laughs> <laughs> <For> every gear. <laughs> I've been driving 10 years. <laughs> Honestly, man, though, it's the funniest thing ever. If you can yeah. ever go out in a learner car, just drive like an asshole, man. And then people will be like, oh. <laughs> we had one who wrote a review about us for our truck pulling out on him. How daft can you be? Yeah. I didn't really say that's where Nicolas Cage outfit come from. Because yeah. I just put it on. Oh, he wrote it. I love these Facebook warriors and all this bollocks. And mm. Just come to my office, man. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. If you've got a dis discrepancy or whatever, just come and say it to me. You I just appreciate say, why they wouldn't. Well, you guys probably just get laugh fruit, do I? But like, just turn around and say, look, your driver's pulled out on me. I go, right. And you know, yeah. he's a learner. Yeah. Learners make mistakes, man. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes. But this is what I mean. Nobody, it's it's this thing where everybody gets on the road and then immediately turns into this finger pointing. Arsehole. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Every, everyone. 
Everyone's in a rush, aren't they? That's the trouble. Today's That's why I don't do London, me. I don't yeah. get London. Right? I, I, I go to London, and then when, when they go for tube in London, and they're running for it, and it's every three minutes. Yeah. I don't get them. My yeah. my break. I won't run for bus, and they're every half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll run for a three minute train uh, or subway thing. Tra- what do you call them? Tube. 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 That's it. Yeah. Tram. <laughs> Blackpool. See, when I when I lived, I was one of those. I would I I'd get off at yeah, yeah, yeah. London yeah, Bridge. Yeah. Through everybody and yeah. stuff like that. The big, Excuse the, me. <laughs> <laughs> when you'd have to switch from one line to the other, I'm that guy. Literally, I'm almost running. I'm almost, and I'm and I'm literally trying not to run, but I'm I'm power walking through. And I don't know why. Yeah, blow behind me, cock. Better not drop his file of facts. We use pocket protector. But I'd always get there and it'd be for nothing. Exactly. And I'd be walking up three minutes later. Yeah. Still, right, there, still laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't yeah. get it, man. Don't yeah, get it. Top. So I don't. Yeah. <laughs> We've had this. I'm colour blind. Yeah. Are you? I am colour. I am colour blind. Yeah. And I. I mean, we, we can have this. This question here. Is that a pink laptop or is that rose gold? It's gold. I mean, it's pink. Apple don't do... I silver. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I got my glasses, so I can't see a uh, thing. Uh, so Apple don't do a rose gold laptop. I mean, I've but, always asked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many but, times I've anyway, said, is it in you? Okay, so, <laughs> so everybody says it's pink. To me, I'm colourblind, it's gold. But anyway, so I'm in Stansted Airport and I'm getting a load of stick for it. And I see two blokes sat there um, with the same laptop. And uh, so I go over and I'm like, right, I'm, I'm settling this now. I'm not taking it. I'm going to go over and say, what colour is this laptop? And I said, right, I've got the same laptop. What's your, what's the colour? He goes, no, oh, no, no, Francais, Francais. I said, no, no, no Anglais. And he goes, oh, just colour, colour. And he says, uh, salmon. And I go, oh. so they're French. And then all my mates are absolutely weeing themselves because obviously, weeing yeah, it's themselves. pink. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know why, yeah, I will not swear. Um, but um, yeah, um, so uh, I need a new laptop. Yeah. So, yeah. What, because it's salmon? Because apparently it's salmon. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know, would you? No, you? No, no, no. Mate, they've changed it. Look, now it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's the same company money there. Straight away. Yeah. Just tell me, just put it back in box, put a new one out. Go, that's yeah. great. This one. Yeah. Go, hey, buddy. There you go. Let's do it, isn't it? That should work here, shouldn't I? Yeah. 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 Do your accounts. So nice. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I would do, though, mate. If, I, if one of my lads were colourblind, I'd be like, oh, I need a new one. Oh, yeah. it's brown. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I always get, are you, though? What colour's that? I'm like, oh, right. I'm not doing this. I, I know, but I don't get that. I get this when they say, where are you from? And I say, Barnes, and they go, bam. Bansley. Bansley. Yeah. Why? I don't it's just, sound like that. Just stereotypes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. true. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do get that. My mate's colourblind. It's weird because he's an electrician. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is that a joke? <laughs> yeah. in it? I'm here all night. <laughs> Put some drums on. Yeah, just delete that bit yeah. out. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not as funny as I thought I was. <laughs> uh, but no, like, yeah. yeah. So anyway, what we're on about? Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can we, and just and I tell you what, we'll, we'll revert back to the to the driving because we went, we did go slightly off topic. Yeah, we've got everywhere. Yeah. We're standing there, yeah, 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 yeah. asking about salmons. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're French people. Yeah. Yeah. Do you so, know that's, that's another thing. Like we did, we on about it. We're school and that. Like, kids with school. Why are they not teaching this industry? Why? Mm. Who cares about French? No, no not the French. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Like, yeah, if you trigonometry. <clears throat> yeah, that algebra. <laughs> Yeah. I did as done. They took me out of French. <laughs> it's not very funny, that. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I feel this big now. <laughs> you brought me down to your level. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, uh, they took me out because I just did, I just wanted to drive a bus. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Didn't care about science. I had a teacher, and I've always said this. I, I swear to God, I hope he's watching. I had a teacher called Mr. Rogan, right? Really big dude. Nobody liked him at school. Uh, all my mates and that, he was just a strict teacher. And I always remember him saying to me, ah, to everybody here, Nath, you'll be the one that makes it. Mm. And I'm like, why? He says, because you've just lived reality. Like, mm. I didn't want to, I didn't, I can remember like going home <laughs> through maths <laughs> because I didn't want to do it. I needed, because buses back then were 20p. I needed to know what 20p take a pound were for a bus fare because I wanted to be a bus driver. Mm. I didn't know to know about pie. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Who cares about X-Bus that? That's why you call Yeah, I yeah. like shit like, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I know thousands of religions out there. You crack on. I just want to drive a bus. That's all I want to do. Yeah. And then when I was 18, I did it. And yeah. then I just lived the life because I always wanted to do that. Worked through spanners, aren't buses. Worked all of them and just built myself up. And then I yeah. just, I did that. <clears throat> so I did my dream. And I've always said, I think that's what gave me a kick up ass. 
Um, like I, I've got very, I support my mum. Like she supported me throughout everything. Like she paid for my lorry license. I can't thank her enough. Uh, my stepdad as well. He, he's been through. Like I, I was shit. I was awful as a kid growing up. Like a horrendous. Like couldn't imagine. No, oh, no, it was bad though. Like I'm, I always said, like I don't either end up arrested, like Nick or dead. Hmm. That's how bad I was. I never did like drugs or I'm not a knobhead. But just a knobhead kid, I thought, no, I was just invincible, you know what I mean? Yeah. I had do them and I had a big chip on my shoulder. Um, and then it just no one went my way, if you know what I mean. And then, like I said, I, I lost my nan and granddad, and that, that broke me, to mm. be honest. And that kind of made me realise that maybe I am a bit of a soft touch, if you know what I mean. And I had my son, and then that grows you up a lot, and if you've got mm. kids, but that really does do. grow you up. Uh, and then it's like I say around to me like I say he's my best mate I've got like I sing him a bedtime song every time I have him I've got it all tattooed on my leg and uh, I do it all for him because I'm not going to be here forever mm. and then as soon as I do I know he's set mm. do you know what I mean I'm, I'm not, I don't live the best lifestyle but I've got an house I've got a missus I've got my son and I'm happy and that, that's what I mean money don't buy happiness it could all go tits up and I still have them mm-hmm. and they'll still be there supporting me no matter what I do yeah. and I, I know for a fact like I can go out on a Saturday when I've got my son and I've got me um, uh, my missus and they'll just be like yeah no worries just get you get your send on I'm not doing it for my setting mm. uh, but then again it's different when you start your send up because you're not doing it for like 10, 15 pound an hour either I earn nothing when I go out literally nothing like, I, I can go out a full week and earn nothing Yeah. but I know the business <laughs> and I know my lads and I know my family's looked after <laughs> yeah. and I know they've got somewhere and that to me is worth more than me just taking 50 quid out of a job because they're all set and I know they never have to worry about anything because I go out and I earn it. And yeah. it's it's hard. It is like I was on about earlier. It is it is hard. No, we can have a laugh and a joke and that lot. But sometimes I do get you get down where you're mm-hmm. like, shit. Like me and mine, I might we'll be watching it now. We had a bit of a meeting the other day. Uh not the other day, fucking hours about a year ago. And we both sat in ruined. Two directors of the company sat in ruined because we were like, it's not going where we wanted it. And it just gives you that big kick up the ass to, we need to make this. Yeah. And then it just got bigger and bigger. And it was like, we nearly shut it down about six months in having it. Cause it just, it was just so stressful. Yeah. We couldn't have a life. We were just, everything will work, work, work. And like a lot of people, then the people are just good to you like, oh, I'm jealous. Fucking I won't be. Mm. I will not be jealous of me whatsoever because I work, anybody can do it. Mm. I started with 1500 quid. That's all I started with. Me mm. and Mike put 750 quid in each for a car and a trailer. Mm. And it, like, I know people that probably ain't got 1,500 quid, but you can start with a lot less to start yeah. whatever you want to do. To be a joiner, you need an hammer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, well, whatever you need for to be a joiner, I don't fucking know, to be honest. Brick lady, need a trowel then. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just need a trowel and then you can go out and say, I'm a self-employed bricklayer. Yeah. I am gone. You've you got to know how to be a bricky, obviously, but you know what I mean? It's, mm. you, anybody can do yeah. what they need to do. They just need that kick up arse. Yeah. Some people turn around to me and say, I've got a, a bloke at minute called Rich and uh, he's buying his own lorry, did his license wheels, welder by trade. He put my bull bar on my truck. So I bought a DAF XF bull bar and blasted yeah. it onto Volvo, you know, like a hero. Now identifies the- oh, Now identifies as yeah. a, don't even get me on that. Cause I, I couldn't go on chuffing blankety blank cause of that. <laughs> <laughs> he invited me onto blankety blank. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> right? They invited me onto Blankety Blank, and because I said something about a they them <laughs> with my bull bar, they won't let me on. No. Swear uh. to God, because I said it identified, and that's what a joke or something like that. Which I, I, do whatever you truffy yeah. want, I don't care. Yeah. As long as you don't do that glue in your hand in front of me on road, yeah. Yeah. that annoys me. Get away. You know mm. what I mean? People have got lives to live. Go and protest somewhere else. Oh, yeah. dogs, I could get right into this. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no you need to cut all yeah. this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's the biggest uh, piece of advice you would give to somebody starting their own their own business up then? Don't listen to anybody else. And what do you mean by that? Just don't listen to anybody. Honest to God, don't listen to nobody. People will pull you down. Mm. Don't do that. Ooh, I won't, I'd be careful mm. about that. Make your own fuck up yeah. and learn from it. Mm. I have had many, many fucks ups in my life. Lords, like you yeah. could not imagine. And I've learned from every single one. Yeah. But if I had not done that mistake, learning to walk, you're going to fall over and graze your knee. Yeah. But you learn not to fall over. Yeah. yeah. So don't listen to anybody else. Yeah. Ever. Just just go out there and be you. And you'll, own, you'll find your own talent, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I did. Like people were going, oh, you'll never make it as a driving instructor. I've got one of the biggest driving instructor schools in country now. Mm-hmm. So 
I must have done something right. And if I listened, oh, maybe not. Mm. Oh, we should do something else. Who knows where I've been now? Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, you'll never make it with logistics. Got two drivers starting next week. Mm. You know what you. I mean? And that we're like, we just build it up your saying, yeah. oh, wreck is an hard game to get into. But if it reads, everybody would do it. Yeah. Don't get a service fan. Yeah. Don't get a service <laughs> fan. You'll never get no work. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's like we went out, we got invited to an expo. And I don't even know why we went because, and I appreciate like with TIP, I don't know if you're using for JAL tests or whatever, you know, mm. the trailer company. We do. Yeah, TIP, big shout out then, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Rob Smith, woohoo. Um, he invited us down, we went with him and we had a night out with him and stuff like that. I've got one TIP trailer and I swear to God, like we got so drunk on, <laughs> like we, cause we thought we were after pay. So we took him to a weather stones. I can't remember other company called Mickey and her last called Kate. I think it was, I can't remember. And we went out with them and we're like, my sister Mike, like, they're going to want to go high end. And we are high end money. <laughs> so we're like, <laughs> Well, the spoons is right. <laughs> and we got smashed in this when the spoons all lot on him. And they were just saying to us, like, you're to a directors. And they were like, this is the best laugh yeah. we've yeah. ever had. Because we don't just don't take no. out serious. No. But like I said, but then like you get you get your you get your real people, like me, your Jack and stuff like mm. that, and Sandy, and you get your people that want to be you yeah. and that want to impress. I could sit down there and say, I've got 15 trucks in. Mm. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Yeah. And not that life no. at all. It's, we're not the best, no. but we, in my head we are. Yeah, are. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when somebody turns around, you, you can you can sell your scent to be shit. So the one gripe that I always get with the HGV haulage, the HGV driver training side is when people post their pass rate, mm. right? Noise the death out of me. That. There's a driver training company that hate me. Yeah. <laughs> Hate me. I'm not going to mention no names and I hate you too. Because uh, they know who I am. They know who I am. And they post the other day that they've got a 97% pass rate. Mm. So I, I, and then you get, you get phone calls and they'll say, what's your pass rate? I say 100%. And they go, what? I say 100%. Would you believe me? If I said, we well, have 100% no. never a fail. No. Would you believe me? You won't, would you? No. If I said 97, would you believe me? <clears throat> yeah. 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 Go and check it. What, your pass rate? Yep. You, I'm going to give you a clue, yeah? You are going to be here all day. He's not going to find it. You're never going to find it. Because no, he doesn't get put. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. 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 You, you couldn't let me on for that. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, he posts yeah. that. Yeah. It'd be very awkward yeah. on me and him are just talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> we need, we need, we need, <laughs> still can't find it. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we need like on uh, Joe Rogan where he goes, what's the chap's name on Joe Rogan? He's like, there's obviously their research. Jamie. And they go, oh, Jamie, just just check this. Pull up this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Me with them next. So the, uh, the the thing is though, they'll, they'll post that they've got 97%. I could do that. Mm. But you can't physically check it. So it's a lie. Yeah. So why are you feeding people lies mm. just to make your send look better? What's mm. the bother? Price to start. I, we did one. I did an offer once. I put price to start from a pound for HGV driver training. That fucks me off and all. Yeah. Price to start from a grand. Yeah. They don't know because there's that many hidden costs. Yeah. And it falsifies people to just yeah. go, ooh, it's a grand. But, ah, but then you've got this and you've got your theory test. And then it's yeah. about four yeah. grand after they've done. Yeah. But because they've dragged them in with a grand, like ours is 2695. Boom. There's nothing it. else yeah, that is costs. what you're paying yeah. me yeah. and then they'll see the 2695 and say but I can get this for a grand go there then yeah. and then when they ring them and they go it's four and a half grand they'll be back on the phone they'll be back on the phone to me I'm probably one of the cheapest in country yeah. because I don't I'm, I'm not in it I'll never be a millionaire mm -hmm. but if I can have a drink on it I trust me I will yeah. Yeah. but I'd rather be that type of guy and we and me and Martin always said we'd never we could put our price up for four grand and we'd still get the work. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Because we are who we are. Yeah. And it, you're getting the hundred percent customer satisfaction. Yeah. And but the people that are like you said, we could we could rinse people. But why the fuck would we? Mm -hmm. We're not in we never started to be like no. that. We 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 me and Martin started this with nothing. Two lorry drivers. Six built by lorry drivers. Mm -hmm. We're not businessmen. We're just two lorry drivers having a go at it. Yeah. And it's worked. Yeah. And we're just not going to stop and nothing yeah. slows us down. I want to open up another city in a different city. That's why mm. we named it City. So we could move it wherever we wanted. Yeah. Um, because we were going to call it South Yorkshire Driver Training, but thank fuck we didn't. Because if we wanted to move it in like Lincoln, then we're fucked, <laughs> don't we? Nobody's going to go there, are they? Yeah. Um, 
And it, like I say, it's just we just do it just to help people, mm. and it, like, that's what I mean. That's why people just love it. Yeah, and I love doing it. And it, yeah. it's like I said, the, tra- the, tra- the training side, and it, it's all a right, but you've got to have patience. I, I can do it every now and then. I can take it for retest and stuff like that for a full course, man. They get sick of me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, can I just please have somebody that's nicer? <laughs> Send somebody else to me. Because they're like fourth day and they're still doing stuff around. I'm like, why are you being a cock? Yeah. Like, you, I've told you this numerous yeah. times. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, it's it's all right. How do we uh, how do we get more drivers coming through? How do we? How do we appeal to teenagers or whoever it is or youngsters to get into to get into driving? Make it fun. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Don't don't falsify the job. The job's a hard job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's so easy at the same time. It's a stressful job, even with fitting. It's a long hours job. So it's stressful. Um the to try and get people into the industry now, nah, just gotta be honest with it. It's like everything. You're gonna work long hours. You're gonna get stuck in traffic. You're gonna get mourned your people on fault lifts. You're gonna get mourned your drivers that are brought down if you're going into fitting life. You're going to get every walk of lifestyle that you imagine you are going to come across. And you've got to be ready for it. Yeah. You've got to just be, I, you've got to want to do it. Like, you've got to wake up and think, I'm going to be a lorry driver. I'm going to take this 44 ton down the road and I'm going to make a difference. And it's like these people that go, I fucking hate lorries. Stop buying shit. Mm-hmm. Then you don't have lorries, then do you? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I've always said. And then to get the youngins in, You've got, it's got to be promoted at school. It's got to be. I'd love to do that. I, I swear to God, uh, if you could take a lorry now and I could, I could get kids interested in that mm, yeah. tomorrow, yeah. just for being, this is what it's like to be a lorry driver. Imagine driving this down yeah. road. Look at all this shit I've seen on back yeah. of here. Imaginable, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've, had, I've had all sorts of, I've took all sorts and I've picked up when I'm on recovery, I've picked up all sorts. And I, I say you meet some brilliant people. That you also meet the knobheads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've gone out to before and the chambers have gone and stuff like that and they've had a piss under the wagon mm. and I've just drove off. I think I'm laying in that. Mm. Man, you've got another yeah. thing coming. Yeah. But like, you get the ones that are like, oh, I'll put mat out for you. Sound kid, you know what yeah. I mean? Or it depends. I always think this, right? It depends who they work for. If they're just a number, they're miserable. If they're part of a family, they're happy. And that's the, you've got to find your, you've got to find the right company and get in with them straight away, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, as we pride ourselves on being a little family. And we are. Do you know what I mean? We've got all truck shows together. We do, like, stuff all the time together. Christmas do cost me an absolute bloody fortune. But we do it all... Well, me and Martin a fortune. Uh, but makes everybody happy. And that's how you know you're not just a number. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's what I think. Just get get it into the younger heads now. There used to be toys, toy trucks all the time knocking about. There used to be toy gear, yeah. like... It's all Fortnite and shit like that and YouTube yeah. and like all these iPads di- and iPhones. Yeah, but there's no, no, you, I think back then, like you said, everything were wheels because you'd been around on a mat week, wouldn't you? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that a few it's times. Nice. Yeah. How come I ain't got one of these big fancy mats? I've just noticed that. It's just room, isn't it? Just fitting um, in, getting it over you. To be honest, that's the same size mic as this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, look, just looks big near me. <laughs> It's the smallest one we can get. What was the video where I put it in front of my face and then for about 10 minutes you, you couldn't really see me? I thought like, oh, that were a bliss. Can we do that again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, well, thank you very much for coming, mate. No, it's Absolute been my pleasure. pleasure having a laugh. What a story as well. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure you'll enjoy watching this one. <laughs> well, if you want more people like Nate from the industry to uh, to come on, please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah. Oh, and we did have a few frequently asked questions for you as well. Um, I, what we, did we have any in particular? I think we got something like, how many chicken nuggets can you eat in one sitting? Uh, oh, that was, right. that was so the that's, best one. <laughs> that's Jamie. That I, know, yeah, I know exactly yeah. what that is. Yeah. So right about it. It's because I've asked a question. So me and Jamie, like I said, when we did the lorry license, yeah. we got on about chicken nuggets. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know I don't, honestly, God, I don't know why. And she ended up getting a parking fine because we're eating chicken nuggets for that long. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, we were here for hours just eating chicken nuggets. We went for about 9,000 chicken nuggets. Yeah. It was something stupid. So a lot. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're not a lot one. of chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken nuggets. What else did we? Uh... Yeah, we sort we sort of covered that. Didn't yeah, we? How did, did you start? But did a bit of everything until. Yeah, so we've gone through worked. life, really, haven't we? To be yeah. honest, today. <laughs> Mm. Yes, 
So uh, just in case you didn't hear that, would you recommend becoming an owner driver? Hundred <laughs> percent. Work. For, I've always believed this. Work for your son. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have staff. Do you know what I mean? Well, I never call them staff, but you know what I mean. Um, but it, there's nothing more prider in your own work. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, you can make your boss proud, but making your self proud mm. I've done this yeah there's no greater feeling in your life I always remember when we did our first delivery on logistics and uh, I sat in a room and I went I've just done it and he went what I went I've dropped my first ever load as I don't want a driver and he was like really and he was on his way to do one as well and he rung me and he was we were so good here. I think we got smashed that weekend because we were just so proud of us and yeah. that we've and I said that I was checking doing my first job I could literally take a lorry and put it anywhere. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I was, I was so scared about doing my first ever delivery because I didn't want it to go wrong. No. And it went, it, then it, honestly, the, 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 the pride you get out of your own work, man, is just the, it's the best feeling in the world mm. and you'll never ever top it. I'm no. sorry you won't. No. Is there anybody from City Driver Training or anybody else you want to shout out? Uh, everybody that works for me. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, works with me. Alt lads, lasses, two new drivers. I've interviewed them, like said, they were brilliant. Um, Swains, I want to shout out to Swains actually, uh, if that's all right. I don't yeah. know if they use gel test. Yeah, do they? Do they? Yeah. Do they? Oh, I do. Cause How many have they got? Like, they must have a quite a few. few. Yeah, We've got a few. John up at Swains, um, I met him and we hit it off. And he, he like I say, he, he plowed us with some work. Uh, he got us really going. So I, I can't thank that enough for the man and, yeah. and the company. They always let us park in their yards. Everybody that works there, the drivers. Uh, to be honest, what a good company that is. Um, so yeah, like I said, John, it's a swaddling court and all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He's, he's, he's a really, really top, just a top guy. And I've, it's like we, we started off not knowing each other, just getting work and we just become a friend. And he really, like, if I'm ever stoke, straight there. He will he always help me out, and yeah. I can't. I, that, what a company that is! Mm. And like I said, and there, there's others out there. Um, there's a few driving schools out there. I'm not going to mention no names, but they know who they are because I don't want to favourite. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wheels being in the same industry, um, they'll be watching it. And yeah, just everybody that like I said, my mum, my dad, well, my stepdad, they do for just being it's raising boring. such a legend. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you uh, if you're looking to get into the to the if to drive in trade, hit up Nathan and the team. But uh, city driving, city training, driver training. That's it. Yeah. Oh, double one four four five seven seven zero oh, nine nine. <laughs> yeah. And like, comment, and subscribe, please, so we can uh, get more people like Nathan. Oh, Thanks. let's get trucking. Yeah, and let's get trucking. <laughs> Thanks for watching.